Good morning, everyone. How you doing? It's a good to see ya. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, here we go again. It's hump day. Next is my sin. I must repent to save my soul. Watch me pack my third fucking bowl because I'm ripped up stone and I'm baked. In about an hour, I will eat a whole cake and maybe some easy cheese straight from the can. I come from the land known as Canada. Blah. Here we go. Here we go. The same old shit on a different day. Listen to me what I may have to say. I'm live on the Twitch machine. I'm a wrestling fan, especially of me, Gene. <laughs> what? What? Ha. <laughs> Gotta get a booster to go outside. Justin Trudeau saw the truckers in hides. Little bitch boy is a little cupcake elitist. And bitch boy girl is a belt defeatist. Look at me rapid. These bars straight from my fucking mind. Tragic is lame. He had a server with kids in kind. He made kids hook up in a server he won't talk about. But he'll go out there and tell you what you're all about. These motherfuckers are really insane. These boosters have went to their brain. Undermedicated motherfuckers. Yeah! 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 Whoa! Here we go again with another show. My name is Dex. Don't you know? Don't listen to those idiots from the Cloud Show. We got the facts. Don't you know? Here I go again. Wednesday was another sin. Go repent to your preacher today, but don't tell me what to say. What's up, Negative Nation? Welcome. To next live, it is 10:17 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the beautiful state of Indiana. Welcome to the broadcast. It's so super good to see you today. Uh huh. Get hype, son. Get hype. I'm trying to adjust the volume. I'm not used to. I'm, I'm gonna switch gears on the music. I gotta mellow the music out a little bit. I just thought that was a little bit of impending doom going into this live stream. What's up, guys? So super good to see you this morning. It's always a pleasure to see you, and the pleasure is all mine to have you here. Clean my bongs, now I'm coughing. All right, so we are going to take a look. At, oh, I got to turn the uh, notifications back on. Totally forgot to do that. There we go. There we go. Venus not a cheer. X300. Yeah, buddy. Oh, hell, Luna, Sonata, Bougie Moon Solo, if you will. Uh, we're going to take a look at French Fry Girl's stream entitled The Desperate, The Sad, and The Ugly, a reaction to DC Media Girl's latest lies, which are not lies. The reason I'm covering this is because this individual is claimed to be terrified to the point where I'm getting unmitigated, unmitigated hate thrown my way, and she's still poking the bear. I don't know. If you're terrified of somebody, you generally don't go online and, and talk shit about their entire community. To me, that says you're not afraid. That says you want drama. So that's just me, though. And uh, I haven't really got a chance to have a really honest French Fry Girl reaction review. It's always just been uh, mudslinging and name-calling. So I wanted to take today to genuinely and honestly dissect her 43 minute camera off chat not saved reaction to dc's oh it's a re-upload okay it's a re-upload never mind never mind uh the only thing that makes her a victim are her lies and her audience that's it that's the only thing that makes her a victim there's nothing outside of this situation 
that makes Fritz Red Girl a victim of myself. Of, she's not a victim of tragic yet. Give it time. She thinks she's afraid of me. <sighs> you are afraid of me. But I do apologize if I made you afraid for your, for your life. It just doesn't seem like you're afraid because you're still out here poking everybody. That's profound to me. This isn't me taking back any apologies. This isn't me dialing back any of the anything I've ever said. This is me keeping it pushing. And I think that French Fry Girl needs to realize that she's not beyond reproach and that she is up for a commentary and dissection. So. Look at Mick's new hat. Mick's got a Mario hat. Beep, 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 beep. Also, French Fry Girl, yeah, but because the enemy, the, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And you saw how well that worked out for me, right? Do you think that's why I'm talking to anybody from Hater Nation? It's not even Hater Nation. It never was. Um, I honestly think that Clara's just got her own community because I, I watch her chat and she's got a lot of people who really just truly respect her for her. And I, that's awesome. She can go anywhere. But you think I'm talking to these people because I don't like you? No, 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 no. I did that for a year. I did that for a year uh, with uh, three people by the name of Peanut, The Gaining Ground, and Tragic. Bad boy, pussy, tragic. That didn't fare too well for me. We're going to take a look. I got a couple of things here that Tragic uploaded. He's on his uh, look at my weird fucking video tour. Instead of making right by, to all the uh, female victims that he has uh, compiled. He's just out here doing a, uh, a tour. So I'm going to take a look at one of his videos before I even... Uh, step into the realm of French Fry Girl's uh, self-victimization and self-hating. Um, Kanishka, I can always count on you for a little zest in my brunch. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I like this, uh, this, uh, this thumbnail he made. I look like shit. I have dark circles under my eyes, and I look gaunt. I have lost a significant amount of weight, and or due to multiple reasons, uh, diverticulitis and this problematic extraction I've had, I still can't eat normal. My tongue is still a little numb, and I bit it the other day, so I have to eat really, I can't eat like I used to. So I'm getting my caloric intake. I'm just not a fat ass anymore, okay? I was 225 when I came onto the scene. I was fat. I'm not 225 anymore. So um, I know you look better than me with filters on, Tragic. But there's one thing a filter can't do, and that is increase your penis size. So, all right. Let's get into this. We got Mr. Baby Blue Eyes, old Frank uh, Sinatra himself. No, let's not do Frank dirty like that. And he's going to tell us how he met Nags. He's going he's gonna to rewrite the whole story. And I'm not going to watch the whole thing, but because uh, I, I, I really want to get into French Fry Girl video. Hey, what up, y'all? It's Big Trash. It's sped up. a lot of misinformation going out. A lot of slander. A sure, lot of defamation. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep those buzzwords coming. Character. And I just mm -hmm. want to set the motherfucking record straight. Ooh, 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 ooh. About this bitch ass Negs. A Predator says a what? A Predator says what? And how I met this dude. Predator says how what? I met this guy was the geek room and Dragnot were talking about him. Well, particularly the geek room. They made that comment that was geared towards his child. At this time, they were also making comments about my children, harassing me and my children. Guess what? I moved on from that, so I don't know why you're evoking something that happened to me when it has nothing to do with you. Coming for my children, doxing me and my children. This was all going on at the same time. Negs reached out to me on a YouTube comment. I, I later messaged him on Twitter, and then we began our discussions. That's probably how it happened. Other. That's probably how it happened. As I was doing this. It's probably how it happened, but what, what baffles me about Frenchie, about Tragic, about Yaba, about anybody who's self-victimizing themselves because I exist, is you guys aren't showing any proof. You turn your cameras on or you turn them off, you cry, you whine, you moan, you, you say disgusting things, and then you leave. Missy Ann, the honeypot, was also talking to Nex, trying Ooh. to get Nex to simp for her. And don't she forget, I haven't seen those, honey. And you know, she was all- Yeah, let's make that clear. No one came for his kids. He, it was awfully funny that he saw me going through that thing and then all of a sudden his story was similar, right? It's kind of weird, huh? Kind of weird. It's also kind of weird how his story and now his vernacular is, it's almost like he's trying to, look, dude, you dopey, dead, shark-eyed motherfucker. It's like you're trying to be me, but you have to be intelligent to be me and funny and charismatic and good looking and a good person. Also trying to do her sexting thing too that you saw in my video as well. That's why when he saw our DMs, the DMs between Missy Ann and me, he was like, yo, let's roll. Let's go. He asked no, me for all that's not really that's not that's not what kicked it off. Bullshit. That's not what it was not missing. Will you leave her alone? You're fucking <clears throat> he weirdo. paid for it at first. 
I bought you and your kids dinner because I felt bad for you. Received nothing. See, this is all repetitive shit. It's getting redundant. Which was a lie. She never sent any evidence. No receipts. No proof. All this other stuff was going on. All these other things were. Well, it's funny now that all the receipts of proof are out there that it's being conveniently glossed over by thousands of people. It's crazy going on, and none of it was true. There was no, there was no evidence ever produced. Now this is like going on two years later, mm. and they're trying to reach and stretch and try to show, oh, this is proof, this is evidence. It's not. He does have really small shoulders for a six foot three man. Like, I, okay, I'll just show you. I'm five foot nine and a half, five foot ten. <clears throat> I'm not an imposing fella. Okay, I'm not an imposing fella. This is me. Hey, what it is, homie? What it is, cuz, cha, cha, idiots. Anything that they might have is manufactured, photoshopped, or made up because it didn't exist. Sure, yeah, he sure. For it. So he saw that they were going at him, they're also going at me. He also saw that I got them really worked up, really pissed off, really frustrated, and he liked that. Oh, yeah, uh, by the way, guys, I would be remiss if I didn't send you over to my, my channel on YouTube called Discounted Content. Discount Content. Now, listen. I'm not coming back to YouTube. I'm not. I also created another Rumble channel called Negs uh, Commentary and Something Content, just so I can upload all the dumb shit I do randomly. So um, here, I'll just share it with you now. Let's give him something else to talk about. It's the channel I've had since 2016. I ran with some fellows. With some, there's a podcast on there, too. You might with, like, uh, we did a podcast on Mayo Yiannopoulos or whatever his name is. It's good stuff. Go check it out. But more importantly... Traj, is I, I, I have this channel so I could send messages to you. He asked me what I did <laughs> to make him so mad. I said, I don't know. I just started talking to Shani. Uh, yeah, buddy. And then he asked me about Miss Yan. Well, I said, well, here's uh -huh. my DMs. She was constantly, you know, talking sexual to me, wanting Ooh. me to get pictures, wanting to go into voice yeah. chats, yeah. Do sexting, and God okay. knows what. Okay, so how is it that when Silvana does that, she's a victim and gets all these ass pats, but you have a relationship with somebody, it turns sour, you start stalking them, and now she's being browbeaten. Do you, does anybody else see how that's fucking absurd? That is so goddamn absurd. Silvana sends me hundreds of unsolicited pictures and sexting, and I didn't reply to it, and she's a victim. Cool. Yeah, because we know about that Rocky stuff. We sure do. Mm. Well, anyway, when I did meet him, <clears throat> he wanted the information. He did take time to check it out. He also I got did. my name. I gave him all my information, my background. He used that website that he searches up everybody's information on. You know oh, that information that. that he used to find other creators' uh, information? Uh, it's called a phone book. It's not a big deal. It's their information about their spouses. It's not. It's not like a super sleuth thing. It's just access to like a super phone book. That's all it was. That's really all it was. And other things like that that he's done over and over. Mm, he sure. leaked out to other people to weaponize them. He's talking about mm. his mental illness, but he's weaponizing other people <laughs> with mental illness. to leak. Put a one in the chat if I've weaponized your mental illness. Got people's doxes. <laughs> this guy is a coward. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a coward. Uh, you still about that clout fights? Because I won't fight you, but I'm sure my homie would. And he's a little bit older than me, but he's actually trained fighter. I'm not. That's why I carry a, a sidearm. I'm not. I'm not trying to fight anybody. You come up and punch me in real life. I mean, it's probably going to end very poorly for you. However, <clears throat> I could set up a fight between you and him. He's about five nine and a half. About five nine, five nine and a half. My height. He's about two hundred and ten pounds. He's 47 years old. He's trained in Muay Thai and Taekwondo. So what do you say? He knew about all my situations. I have, I have had some court cases in the past. They were all dropped. No, they weren't. You know, silly. You pled out. Pleading out is not the case being dropped. Things do get into it. Things happen. Nobody's perfect. Oh, so everything I do is bad, but you, you, you assault a woman with a deadly weapon, and you're a saint. Gotcha. And he knew everything about that. And I wouldn't be able to live the way that I'm living in life right now if anything like what these people are saying is true. Even if an ounce of it was true. It is all it true. Nice nice porcelain unicorn collection, by the way. Really classy touch to stream from a little girl's room. It's all <laughs> fucking bullshit. These, what these people have been doing, what these people have been saying. It's all a bunch of nonsense. I am a grown man in my room. Shit. I have over 600 square feet to myself. Okay? It's not. It's a weird flex. But, I mean, honestly, I have like 1,200 square feet to myself. But you do. You do. You keep, you keep owning me and dunking on me in front of the porcelain unicorns. He sure did. He dotted his I's and crossed his T's. But he liked the <laughs> information because I was part of that other group for a while. He liked knowing about everything that was going on, and he used it to his advantage. And he spun things into something that were – he spun things that were not that big of a deal into bigger deals, and some things were bigger deals. We did have to report them accordingly. Jeez, this is, is this like the known knowns and the known unknowns thing that fucking uh, – what's his name? Uh, Rumsfeld did back in the 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> things that were involving kids and weird comments and stuff like that did get reported. Mm. But nothing ever happened. So he yeah, did buddy. So he did uh -huh. sit on information for a long time, just like he sat on the Fancy Badger Underhaven stuff. Well, no, I didn't sit on any Underhaven Fancy Badger stuff. I watched what you guys gave me and made a critical error in regards to that uh, that that young person. 
Um, so, and I've, and I've said it before, <clears throat> and I'm sorry to them. I still need to, like, look, if, if, the, if, the, if, the, if, the, if it's what they say it is, why am I going to bust somebody's balls over that? You know, like, if I was, if I'm going to bust their balls over having, uh, you know, because, uh, uh, like, I'm going to tell you right now, when I was in high school, it was not uncommon for a, for a, a freshman to be in a relationship with a senior. That was not uncommon. It was not uncommon for a junior to be in a relationship with a fucking teacher. I synced it with my own eyes. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not excusing it, but what I'm saying, it was not uncommon because some of these people stayed together their whole entire lives, and others just moved the fuck on after high school. That's how it went. For several weeks, people were talking about it. Yeah, buddy. But he took the information. I would say, hey, this stuff is creepy. This stuff is weird. They're talking about me, but look at them. And he spun it into his own thing. You know, that's what he does. He spun it into pedos, chomos. We didn't really use the word chomos, but pedos. No, you did that. You did that. You said they are your words. They are running a child grooming ring. They are running a child exploitation ring. Those were your words. Do you name? I've been telling you to dump the DMs so I don't have to. And that's why you're setting up this 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 doubt that it's it's all going to be edited. It's all going to be you know not oh shit none of it's real. Tragic's innocent. He's the victim. Predators, abusers, all that shit. So everyone wants exactly. to know how I met Neg. Exactly, Clara. Met Negs. Well, the reason is because Missy Ann reached out to him to try to get him to go after me. She had no proof, had no evidence. Now she's trying to backtrack almost two years later uh, to try to get him to do it. Sure. <laughs> after he's thrashed him. Go, go, go after you. Dude, I already I, I ended your career. You're done. You just don't get it yet. You're I, Look, I get more views on Twitch than you do on these videos that you upload on YouTube. That should tell you everything you need to know. Uh, you're done. I ended your career, son. You never had one to begin with, but I ended your career. You may have bamboozled uh, the YouTube underground. You may have bamboozled the tater tards, but you you haven't bamboozled anybody. Hey, V, what's up? What's up, my micker? That's an Irish thing. We can say that. That's our word. Ambassador <clears throat> for months on months on months. You know, took information and spun it into things. Overdramatized it. It brought in mm. the viewers and made him a whole shitload of money. Yeah, buddy. So that's... I gave you... Uh, I gave you quite a bit of money, actually. I, not quite a bit of money, but I gave you more money than I should have. But I only did it because I felt bad for you because you were always crying every day. It's all you did. It was pity party with death, pity party with hussy, pity party with me. Go over and sexually harass somebody. Beg for nudes. That's how I met next. This slimy con man, this sleaze bag, this person that plays into people's emotions when they're vulnerable. They're not thinking clearly. And I feel bad for y'all that you're believing his nonsense. I really do. It's disgusting. Ooh, and now buddy. I'm hearing about things that he's done in his past, and it's disgusting. It's an ongoing cycle. This has been going what on for things? a long time. What things? I mean, even what you did to FFG is disgusting. He what did I do to FFG? You were a part of that troll server. I said inflammatory, incendiary, disgusting things because I wanted people to read it because they were giving me such a hard time. I didn't care at that point. I knew I was on my way out. I wanted to do as much damage as I could on my way out because I didn't do anything illegal. I said fucked up shit, whatever. Prove that I'm a danger. Everybody always used this point of contention that I'm an edge lord until edge lord shit comes out, and then it's a threat. That's the craziest thing. You did a yaba. It's repulsive. It's vile. Yeah, I did nothing to yaba. She lied to you too, but like you know, liars. Misery loves company. Whatever. And it continues, and that's why you're on you're on charges right now, going to court. No, I mean like I, I have been accused of a crime that I'm innocent of. Yeah, and uh, two no contact orders against me were dropped by a judge, and the judge sided with me. Also on my music with having creative license. So I don't know why when I'm saying this, it doesn't mean anything to you because this is my real life I'm talking about. And I'm giving you information that I can that's not going to be damaging moving forward. So again, let me repeat this. I've been accused of something I didn't do. Okay. Two no contact orders that were to be issued in regards to this very same claim that they made in regards to the other charge were thrown out by a judge who was very much in my favor with my music being I had the right to creative license to say what the fuck I want in my songs, okay? So again, I didn't do anything illegal. It's not my fault that everybody is histrionic, running around trying to get as much residual trauma from Negs as they can. And karma's a bitch. Mm. And you sound like you me. What now I'm hearing that you did to these people, you're not just going to get a fine, homie. I looked into it. You're going to yeah. be serving some jail time. Sure. You sure are. Uh -huh. Nothing that you're doing right now is helping. Mm, yeah. It's very easy to find a prosecutor's name. Sure. Slide information on over to him. And I got Do all it. your shit downloaded, homie. Go for it. Well, guys, that's how I met Negs. Everyone that's following him right now believes that, that nonsense. Sad. That was sad. over to DC Media <clears throat> and these other incels. Mm -hmm. Incels. These, Throw all those. These people, these stalkers, obsessive stalkers. It's disgusting. Uh, buddy. Oh, yeah, that's how I met Negs. Yeah. Cool. So now y'all know. Mm -hmm. Ayo, 
Let's go. Let's get it. Let's see him deny it so I can re release the receipts right Do after. Do it. No, I, I'm asking you right now. You did this 18 hours ago. I've been asking you for two weeks. I want you to release all the receipts. I do. I want you to release all the receipts. One, nobody's going to believe shit that you post at this point because you have doctored evidence about Shabisky, which caused that young man a great deal of distress. You, you have fabricated receipts about Missy, which is, you, we know what you've done to her. Okay? And we all know what happens when people fabricate receipts. You end up in court with them. But you do release your DMs, please. Please release your DMs because I want you to know something, Traj. You can talk this shit to the simpletons that decide to drink your Kool-Aid, but the fact of the matter is this, is that there is nothing illegal that's happened, because if there were, I would have went to jail for it already. Um, somebody did dox my kid's school that was connected to Yabba because of Yabba. That's why my kid's school was doxed. So if, it, if there's a crime committed, that was a crime committed. That was doxing with malfeasance, okay? So. Their denial. But yeah, buddy. Because it's the fucking truth. Mm -hmm. With big love. Holla, holla. Love y'all. Oh, God. Predator. He's like, if He-Man was remade, he would be Predator. Yeah, underage kids want a dating server. Yeah, Predator. Idiot. Good God. It's people like you that make me smoke four grams a day. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't. Oh, Frenchie. Frenchie, you tried. You have been trying to be my friend, and when I rejected you, you flipped out. You flipped out. Uh, yeah, yeah, and Yabba excused and laughed at my kid's school being docked, so Yabba's definitely the victim in this. She's terrified, guys. She's so terrified, she moved in a woman who not only insulted her children's looks, but doxed her and stalked her for an entire year, so she's scared to death of me, let me tell you. Mm, yeah, buddy. So is this woman. She's terrified of me. Do you know why she's terrified? Because she came at me super sideways, hard as fuck to try to build her channel. I knew what she was doing. She was chasing clout with me. She was saying the most disgusting things. I've proven it time and time again. I'm not going to sit here and do it again. She knows what she's done. Uh, it's not my problem that other people are too illiterate to actually read and make up their and have an opinion of their own. I'm sorry, sheeple. Get vaxxed. Um, but uh, nobody did anything to you. I responded to horrific things you said in regards to my family. That's what I did. I was defending my family's honor. And anything, I'm going to be honest with you, anything I said beyond that, if you felt unsafe, I really don't think you did. I'm still sorry if I did, but I really don't think you did. But let's be honest here. Uh, going to bed at night knowing people on the internet were bagging on you because you lied about me stealing five grand from a child's funeral, that's a pretty shitty feeling to go to bed with. So I want you to understand that like you're not a victim. You victimized me first, and if you were afraid because of your own actions, that's on you, and you might want to keep that in mind moving forward when you're going to keep harassing, slandering, and defaming people, okay? All right, honey, let's go. Hi, guys, everybody. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. It's I'm kind sped of pissed up, that by the way. I'm kind of pissed that we have to fucking be here right now. Uh, like I said yesterday, my intention... You didn't have to be here at all. You could have kept watch a fat girl slowly die and minded your own business. Today was girl world stuff. I didn't want to get back into this stupid shit. Girl world stuff. But here stuff. we are again, because I'm... Can't keep her fucking mouth closed and doesn't know when. Can you can you can you complete one sentence without a curse word, please? I'm gonna try to refrain from cursing during this live stream so you don't feel threatened. I don't want you to feel victimized by being uh, held accountable for your words. You know that foul trope. Um, you've made a fucking fool out of yourself. You don't keep doubling down. But if you want to keep doubling down, I have no fucking problem to keep on coming out here every time and just <clears throat> letting everyone know what an absolute joke that you really fucking are, DC. You know, the, the, the only joke here is every like, – I can't wait till Tragic burns all of you. It's, I'm going to – I am going to throw a party for all the people that were affected. I'm going to have Clara and Missy – and all the people tragic fucked over. I'm gonna rent a fucking. I'm gonna rent a fucking like a small auditorium. I'm gonna and everybody get hotel rooms. We're gonna party. We're gonna puke in trash cans. We're gonna do blow off of cheap prostitutes' asses because it's going to be glorious to see you actually have to eat crow. So we're gonna do a quickie right now, okay? I'm not watching her whole goddamn video. I don't give a fuck. I'm here for. Uh... Doesn't give a fuck. Is here for. Uh... Doesn't give a fuck, but yet is here is here to, to read thought about it, it. Too, okay? Nobody thought it was me. Nobody fucking thought it was me. Set frame for something that she was planning on doing. <clears throat> Next has a child who passed away. Why are you even talking about that? That's, that's beyond Froggy me. Froggy made a Twitter account in the name of that dead child mm. to harass Negs. Proof? I need proof because, hey, look, I know Keisha's on fuck shit. She's a shit stir. Sorry, honey. 
I, 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 I like you, but you're a shit stir. We're just going to be honest here. So, like, I need some proof here because both of you, we were all saying gross shit to one another. I was telling Acacia that I wished her husband was Chris Benoit. It was a joke because she was saying shit about my family. We've worked that out, though, okay? So, mm. Now, Froggy was my friend, you know, good friend at the time. <laughs> I doubt that. And knew exactly I doubt at the time I was doing schooling from home because of the Rona restrictions. The only sure. time I had okay. to leave here to go to school was on Ooh. days that I had exams. Yeah. And on a day where I had a double exam, which means a morning and an afternoon. I don't know about you guys, but I mean, like, um, and I know in legal events, like when you go to court, uh, if you have an attorney, they, they send investigators out to to snoop on people's social media to see what their true character is versus what they're saying in court. That shit is hell. You, you know, I t remember when I told you guys that I, I think it was a couple months ago that your social media activity could be used in court against you. Nobody listened. Okay, so I don't know you going forward with a job. You would be a liability to a company. You are a lawsuit waiting to happen. So I don't know what you're going to school for, but it seems to me that it's going to be a complete waste of time because you have went on here, slandered, defamed, and harassed people to the point where no company would want to mess with the liability. That's like letting a fucking rabid Wolverine into a, a shopping mall with a bunch of elderly people just trying to get their exercise in. Who wants that liability? Afternoon, which means I'm out of the house all day and not. I don't check Twitter if I'm not in the house. I, I not, not even once. Sure. Okay? She knew that. And on the day that I was out, the entire day, suddenly an account is formed in the name of Negs's dead child. Dead child, I love that. And because I wasn't there all day to defend myself, this little bitch tried to throw me under the bus and make it look like it had been me that had made an account to Ooh. harass Negs about his dead child. Well, you did say I stole money from his funeral. You apologized for it. You did. You you came groveling to me just like Yabba and Sam did in their and their sweetly worded emails that they were so scared at one in the morning writing that they posted on Twitter instead of sending them me to me directly. It wasn't me. It definitely wasn't me. Uh, I can't prove that it was her, and I couldn't then too, and it's clear in the DMs. You guys are going to see them. But I did tell him that there's a pattern of behavior, and I'm going to point it out to him. I sent him everything that kind of showed exactly who she was, what the fuck sure. she was up to. And a pattern of behavior. You know what? I see a pattern of behavior with you is lies, 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 self-victimization. You stalked Chantel and agitated her alleged abuser. I screamed that from the rooftops, and nobody would fucking listen to me. He connected all the dots and thought it was her too, okay? Nobody thought it was me. Nobody fucking thought it was me. Froggy tried. So yeah, that day I got home from class. I want to just clarify that I've never pinned that account on anybody. I have let it go. I'm not even trying to figure that shit out. Um, if these people want to continue to use Mason as some kind of point of contention, that's fine. That's on them, man. I mean, like, at this point, I'm a public figure, and my little boy was is a celebrity of sorts. So I'm just going to appreciate the fact that people are keeping his memory alive. I just don't want him to sully it. That's all. My fucking Twitter is blowing up. Everybody's coming at me like, how the fuck could you even ever do that? Mm. And I don't blame them. God, can you imagine somebody doing that to someone? I hate his fucking guts. Mm, I obviously. Would never obviously. Do that to someone. I don't care how much I hate you. Obviously, you sent me totally fraudulent, forged information for the copyright appeal to. And YouTube wanted me to hire an attorney to deal with it. I wasn't going to do that. But you did send me 100% incorrect information. And so Big Trad just saying I'm holding on to people's information. Did I publish it? Did I? Did I publish it? I can't remember. There are certain things I don't care who you fucking are. I would never do to you. It's not because of who you are. It's because of who I am. But you have no problem lying and sending unmitigated hate towards me and his surviving brother, though, right? You know he has a brother downstairs that's alive. And he has two other brothers that are alive and trying to get through their adult life. But you're out here on the internet spreading this slanderous, defamatory shit from Canada all the way to the United States where people are armed to the teeth and crazy and unmedicated and fucked up from this pandemic. Thank you for that, French fry girl. I appreciate it. Because we can't even get into Canada because it's blocked by truckers and restrictions. You're shielded by tyranny, okay? <laughs> I don't do that dirty shit. I'm a fucking, or I was at the time, a Twitter troll. I don't do yeah. shit like that. I never have, and I never would. And I don't Ooh. even get, is it next? Is it anybody else? That is not me, but that is fucking froggy. Remember the Connecticut Jew buddy account uh, comment? That was cute. Anyway, when I got home and saw that all popping up, I felt for Negs that day. I no, did. did. What no, a horrific did. thing to do to somebody. And I yet, yet you sit here and say Negs dead child to your thousands of people who watch this. I appreciate you being horrified. DM him, like I said, explaining that, yeah, it fucking wasn't me. And here's how I can prove it's not me. I can't make a goddamn Twitter uh, sock account. She's not afraid of me. She's afraid because she got caught. Her and Keisha were on fuck shit, and they got hemmed up. Only Keisha owned up to her end of it, apologized, and is trying to push forward. She still stirs the pot. Whatever. We know. We're not stupid. Uh, so, you know, so uh, I, I don't understand. Like, you're the only one who just won't 
make a sincere apology for your initial transgressions publicly and try to make the situation better than worse. You're making it worse for me and, and, and my son Slade. That's his name. Slade. Okay. That's his name. He has a real name. He's not Lil Negs. He's Slade. He's my son. I love him. I adore him. I will die for him. Okay. There is what you're doing is absurd. If you would take time to watch that playlist on YouTube instead of uh, Alex the Glitter Queen out there trying to get it taken down, then you would know what's going on. But you guys are so blinded by this outrage over me existing. I'm not on YouTube. I don't want your fat girl shekels. But I also don't want people stalking me over to TikTok and Instagram to tell me to kill myself. My children are going to kill me and that stuff. That's the stuff I'm getting again since you inserted yourself into this situation. I just want you to understand it. That's not because of me. That's because of you and Yabba and Sam. Because we don't have Google, uh, what the fuck was it even called? It's not Google something. It was about getting an internet phone number, okay? Google Talk, that's what it was called. Google Talk doesn't exist Calm in Canada. down, and calm down. And the that had been made was with a Google Talk number. So no, you dumb fucks, it couldn't have been me. And calm down. Nobody's shouting and screaming. And yell you know who screams and shouts and curses like this? Guilty people. Everybody knew that at the time. And I sent everything to him that showed a pattern of behavior from... Show, show it on your screen. Show it, do one and done. Show the screenshots, prove your case, and move on. Keep it pushing. Froggy, that uh, was clear as day to everybody, including eggs, that it had been Froggy. That is the only, only thing that I ever text, uh, DM'd Nick. <laughs> wow, you're, you're shook, honey. You need to calm down. It's, I mean, like, it is deep to you because you fucked up. You just need to acknowledge you fucked up and keep it pushing. Nobody's going to hurt you. Nobody's going to do anything to you. You guys did in Bold and Tragic, though. He may not do something to you in person, but he will be sure to try to make sure. Like, one, he's going to troll, create troll accounts. He's going to he's going to uh, cut you down with troll accounts. And then he's going to come in and gas you up to your face. And then he's going to infiltrate your community, contact the women in there who have money. And it goes from there. So, I mean, like, that's really, that's your focus. And you're not you're not focusing on the right thing. I've been on Twitch for four months. Not even saying anything. Watching commercials from the 80s. And look where we are. Ever. In life. And I never would again. Okay? It was the only fucking time. No Nobody's going to hurt you over a troll account that you may or may allegedly made using my son. Nobody's going to hurt you over that. And if you're concerned about repercussions from shit like that, maybe cut it out. Nobody wants to get, or I shouldn't say nobody, you clearly desperately wanted to. I wouldn't want to be in Nix's DM if he was the last man bitch on earth, okay? I would literally rather throw myself off a fucking cliff. I think everybody knows that. Except for dumb bitches who are trying to fucking spin something that never fucking existed here. Word. So let's get in and hear what this has to say today. We're going to hear just a little clip of it because I'm not in the fucking mood for this bullshit today. And uh, then I'm going to dump, I, I screen recorded myself scrolling through all those fucking DMs. Uh, We're going to let it play. We're going to end this fucking stream. I'm going to take a breather. We're going to come back later and do Chantal shit. Of course. I, I, you know, I don't understand. You're sitting here screaming about this, but then you have, you have, you have, you call Natter Koki. You, you instigate this man in the same country as you every day. You poke the same woman who lives in the same country as you every day. Clara came to me and, 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 and dare I say that, that there was a veil lifted from my eyes and I have been able to work on my mental recovery. Now, I can't explain it to you. I, I don't know. Uh, we, I've always been a believer that we're all connected in this universe and things happen. Everything happens for a reason. Okay. So what she did was supremely positive for me. It was supremely positive for Missy Ann until you and Yabba inserted yourselves with your disgusting foul mouths. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. You have these large platforms where you can say this guy, tragic is a predator. Negs is exposed to Clara has, Frank has, Mothra has, Dragnock has, all these people that you once appreciated and were more than happy to take their money. I've seen the screenshots of people super chatting you, okay? Now, you have no time to listen to them. Anybody who wants to read everything line by line by line, all they have to do is, you know, like replay the video and pause at will. Oh, and um, I may have to dirty delete this one because I don't give a fuck today. I'm coming for this... As hard as I want to. How she she edited it. You edited this? Who edits live footage to re-upload? Honey, it's not that deep. You're you're you are this way because of you. Nobody else did nobody did anything to you. 
the, the and I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it play here in, in just a sec. I'm sorry, but but the only thing that happened, you keep saying you brought him back. I don't want to be in the fat atmosphere. I don't want to watch a grown woman slowly kill herself so I could laugh and make money. One, I, I I'm not an intellectual, but Jesus Christ, do I have more range than that? How come you told? How come you didn't tell me that it's just the internet, like you told FFG? Just curious. Uh huh. That's a good one. I'll explain it. Some of you may not like to hear this, but I will explain it. Um, FFG has talked mad shit on our channel about a lot of people. All right. She made a big deal out of not her. Sorry. Threatening to find her even if she there lived in the birdhouse. Remember there that? There we go. There we go. Um, she talked mad shit about Meg. She talked mad shit about Chantal. Now she's talking mad shit about me. She's talking mad shit about Missy Ann. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Actually, yep. until right now, I hadn't talked mad shit about you. But yeah, now I'm, when someone shows you their fucking shit, do you treat them any other way than shit? Hey, uh, Fritchie, you're a domestic violence survivor, and we all appreciate that. We do. Regardless of what we said in the past, <clears throat> we do appreciate that. And it's absurd that you would, you would this woman you don't even know, Missy Ann, you would go live and, and send her unmitigated hate as a survivor as well. It's crazy to me because it seems like that, I know that, um, I, I know several people who have lost children. We kind of tend to stick together until they go on Twitter and lie about revenge porn. No, no. She's what, commenting that I uh, <coughs> reacted and talked shit to Chantal and Koki? Uh, yeah, well, good point. As she sits there wearing fucking Adidas. Oh, so yeah, that's, a, oh, oh, you got a point. Oh, she tells me I'd sit here and talk about Koki. Oh, and she sits there wearing Adidas. What is, I'm sorry, did you, what school did you go to for that, that type of debating technique? That's, that's amazing. Subtle. You stupid fuck. In what world, in what world? Yeah, now we're defending Koki. I came so hard at Koki, I was poking the bear. I made things worse. I poked a violent man. You did. You're admitting to it. You poked a violent man. I said shit to you in four months and you flip out. And you sit there and provoke the same guy that you all claim has abused women. You guys were claiming he sexually assaulted a woman at one point. And you're out here trying to ruin my life and send unmitigated hate. You know, that's why I have cameras all around my residence and there's a loaded gun back there for me on the ready at any moment. And that's not me flexing or making a threat like everybody wants to. He looked into the camera in a certain way, right, gaining ground. Because, you know, you're an expert on body language, right? That's because you motherfuckers don't know when to stop. <laughs> I know I've been wearing Adidas since I was like 19. Like, and you know where I, you know what, I, I knew what Adidas was, but you know what made me wear Adidas? Corn. Um, mm -hmm. No one has shown 85, up 95, no baby. No one has <laughs> tried to get her fired from her job. No one has interfered with her real life. Nope. Yes. And why is that? Why haven't they come to my house, fucked with my job? Because they haven't found where I live or where I work. So why are you on here screaming that you're a victim and you're terrified and Negs needs to be shut down? Why are you trying to starve me off the internet, dude? <sighs> have your YouTube shekels. Let go of the ego. I have a platform one-tenth the size of yours. I have 720 followers on Twitch. You have tens of thousands of subscribers. Remember this punching down thing you all used to re about so much? You are punching down now. It's the only reason. Literally, Hell the yeah, only Clara. fucking reason. <laughs> Do you think if my address had been out there and my job had been out there, that I would still be working in the same place? Or that I would probably still be living in the same place? Whatever. Dumbass. You know the fucking answer. Don't play so fucking uh, naive. It's like she acts stupid when it suits her, huh? but she's smarter than all the rest of you. You're, you're dodging any of the points. You are. You're doing exactly what Hussey did. You're doing exactly what everybody else has done. You're making it about yourself and ignoring the talking points. You really got to... You've got to humble yourself just a little bit. I, I humbled myself and listened, and look where I'm at, and look where you are, okay? Best of us, when it also suits her. Yeah, no, Koki threatening me is my fault. My fault now. It is. She has a real it is. problem. With it is. It is your fault. Uh, pissing off an angry man. But the irony is she had the bigger problem with me reaching out to Chantal. No, what are you talking about? No, you are poking an angry man. It is absolutely your fault that he has threatened you. Do you not see that? You identified him as a dangerous coke addict. You tried to insert yourself in the Chantel's life. Told your whole audience, okay, we're done reacting. I watched it happen. You said you were done. And then less than 24 hours later, you came back throwing the most vile shit at her and poking at her. So don't. Do not, young lady. Do not rewrite history in your head because it suits your narrative. 
That's what you're doing. You, you were just saying people when it suits their narrative. You're ignoring all the talking points. You are being irrational, histrionic, and just overly. I'm sorry. I keep pausing. The zero it's just, empathy piece look, man, I'm a parent. So I feel like if this were my child, this is what I would say to them. Shit shooting off her fucking mouth now. She was dumping on me for having reached out to Chantal. So you shit on me for having empathy for her, but then you also shit on me for coming to empathy. the Empathy. She was frightened. And I understand that. I understand that. I get it. It's frightening when somebody threatens you or when you feel frightened by someone. Isaac Guest scared the fuck out of me. Um, by the way, Isaac Guest sent mobs of people to my channel to tell me they were going to murder me and my family and burn my house down. The Guest mob did. Um, they uh, they said they were from BLM. They were going to burn my house down. They were going to do things to my child until I uh, apologized to him publicly for disagreeing with him about making an inappropriate comment about a woman's child that drowned. Um, He's he's just a bully. That's it. That's my point. Did I say that, Nikki M? No, I didn't say that. Maybe if you just listened instead of just putting comments in chat. See, if only people listened a little bit. Um, Missy Ann was affected in her real life. Okay. I mean, I can sit here and bitch and moan about um, you know, people being mean on the internet, but people have reached into my real life. These are stories that I'm not at liberty to talk about yet, but my real life has been affected in a very, very, very real way by people. Why would you even bring that up there, though? Hmm? If you oh, here we go. only have sympathy for yourself and Missy Ann's real life, um, and you just literally shit on the fact of them trying to reach out into mine. Uh, oh, I almost just called. Again, here we go. Did anybody else watch this? Again, here we go. She's ignoring the fact that she's making this situation worse by trying to somehow. Look, it's not Clara's responsibility to pat your ass when you're sad. It's not. Y'all like to bag on her for being old and all this shit. Me too. I'm getting that now. But the reality is, I'm a parent. My oldest kid is almost 22 years old. And um, I'm not going to, you know, I fought battles for Shani, Tragic, and multiple other people all blew up in my faces. It's not my responsibility that you're sad and we, it, we happen to make the same type of content. Do you see how deranged that is? We don't have, she doesn't have a vested financial interest with any of you. That's why I have the negative nation. I have my own community. I don't need this creator or 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 this creator to grow and thrive. I just do my own fucking thing, right? You are more concerned about the fact that nobody came to your defense. You had thousands of people in your community come to your defense. What are you talking about? These motherfuckers hate me based on your lies. Called her Chantal. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, DC, don't then spin around and start talking about how fucking scared you were. You need to understand nobody gives a fuck. Yeah, right. And if you don't have sympathy, uh, what's the point of even putting that in as an argument? Jeez. You're fucking weak, DC. People she said she omits some far. negative energy, and man. Not everything has to be about violence. Not everything. Um, oh, really, Broccoli? Well, maybe if I turn into Chantal, maybe I'll make as much money as she does. I don't think so, but that's okay. You know, people were asking me, why didn't you get upset when Frenchie was crying? First of all, because I knew the story already. Second of all, because... Well, you know what, Rowan? To be fair, this is me getting in on the fat girl claim. <laughs> um... No, she didn't. She did not know the story. There's one person who knew the story, and it's just saying on the internet. Nobody knew the fucking story. You see, you didn't know jack shit. Go fuck yourself. Um, second of all, because I watch footage every day of famine, genocide, political violence, FGM, uh, violence against women. So all I can say is it takes a lot to make me cry. Okay? So anyway, she did peace and love. I, you know, I, I wish I could share that sentiment. It does, it does, and it doesn't take me a lot to cry. After, you know, and I'm going to talk about this. People keep saying whatever they want. After we lost Mason, I lost the ability to cry it was the strangest thing i couldn't cry and i felt guilty i felt guilty but i was also being uh mind fucked on the internet every day because that's where i went to make a living and i didn't know how to block this stuff out because like claire is saying here she sees all this horrific shit day in and day out and it took takes a lot to make her cry and once you see i've seen a lot of people in in, in, in coffins and cats i've seen a lot of caskets lowered into the ground i've seen urns i've seen you know all of it but once you see a, your own child in, in a situation like that it does something i i uh i didn't cry then um i don't believe i cried at the cemetery and i don't think i cried for about six months after that so during this stuff that's happened with uh missy ann and tragic mind fucking the whole community and all this shit i mean like it's one i've been able to actually celebrate my son's memory i don't know <clears throat> and that started before this though let me say this this wasn't like a whole overnight transformation this was this has been months in the making uh, just a few months ago i was able to start four months ago i was able to start celebrating my son's memory right and then when the veil was lifted with this tragic thing i have probably cried no less than seven or eight times 
I haven't cried that much in four years. So, I mean, I get it. I, I, I get it. I, I, maybe that's a, a, a bad comparison, but that's all I got. Maybe, again, maybe if people were to do a little bit of research, they would know this. But Frenchie, you know, for somebody who is so worried about people coming for her and violence and and blah 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 blah, you know, you were awfully keen on getting Nader all worked up when you thought that he was being violent towards Chantal. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, that's true. Um, getting Nader all worked up while I thought he was being violent towards Chantal, getting him worked up, not calling out the abuse. No, you. No, no, you don't understand. You are pretending that your words are justified and everybody else's. Uh, criticism levied towards you is not you're saying that you're the only one that could go on here and use inflammatory language and incendiary rhetoric towards somebody and not bear the consequences of it wow getting him worked up so what should we have done miss feminist should um that's different yeah it is different like it is it is we all have sat and shut the fuck up and sit on our fucking asses and just kept on making our little reactions to chantal while she got her ass kicked and possibly shanked who knows where that would have gone right now that we all know about Foki, everybody can kind of understand why I was nervous, right? When you find out some guy has a, a thing for fat women who can't defend themselves or run away, and he stabbed the last one he was with, uh, you get Yeah, you go on the internet, you call him Koki over and over and over again for hours while raking in hundreds of dollars. That should help the situation. Damn right, I couldn't sleep at night knowing what I knew. Mm, -hmm. mm buddy. So you had a big problem with me doing that. You yeah, had a buddy. big fucking problem with me reaching out to her. Mm. So which one is it, DC? You are, you're worried about losing the coin. You're, that's all you're worried about. You're mad that I worked him up, worked him up, is what we're calling, called out the abuse, and refused to stay silent while Chantal tried to turn him into Prince Charming. It's my fault? It's my fault that Koki's abusive? Or that he's angry? Bitch, it's not right, my fucking job him. to placate an abusive piece of shit. Just like, it's never gonna be my job to placate Megs, or shut the fuck up for you, or Missy Ann, or anybody else. You're the ego on you. Wow. The ego on this young lady. Are you seeing it? Dude, her head. <laughs> She's going to need a 4K camera, and she's going to need 600 square feet to sit in the back of the room if your ego gets any more inflated, young lady. Tragic. You're talking about me and my inability to, whatever, conduct myself as a normal human being and being undermedicated. I think you need to look around the new community that you're swimming neck deep in shit with. Ooh, how many times can you fall to my dumb? I am so fucked. She did go IRL with Natter, but they're focusing on things that I'm trying to make right that I did that were inappropriate. And that I, 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 you know, it's they, they just want to kick this shit back up. They want people to read. They want people to say inflammatory things and scream and yell and get a reaction. It's all about money. And this isn't my first rodeo. It's just different now. <laughs> Pissed off. This duck, the, the reach, the spin. She is Megs. This is Megs. Mm. You know what? Y'all can think wow. whatever you want. I'm not going back to the whole cow tip. I know that that was like a controversial thing, the cow tip, the no cow tip, whatever. We're past that. That's I'm, not what I'm, ev I'm everybody's spirit animal this week, fake this month. People is gonna sit there having fake feminist to... fake feminist clara somebody that called you a fake feminist went out and called somebody's abuser koki and reached out to him in real life can you believe that help another <laughs> abused woman and then gonna try and turn around and blame me for the abuse do you see did you get your fucking head this morning or some shit well that's, what's funny is you're you guys are the same people who go online and talk about how shitty people are as parents when they're not and then expect that to not have any kind of real life impact on them and their children. It doesn't me because most of you are really simple. So it doesn't really, it's not applicable to my emotional state anymore. You oh, have I'm been sorry. going after that man in stream after stream, and it is your prerogative to do so. But you guys live in the same country. Now, mm -hmm. I don't think that Nader is going to hop on an Uber or get Chantal to take him over to your place. First of all, I don't think he knows where you live. But be that as it may, you know, she lives in a P.O. box according to what she said that there is danger in this kind of behavior. Understand, DC, understand. Trying to equate the fear that I had of Nix, who lives in another country, to Koki, the broke, degenerate, lone <laughs> lunatic who lives in my own country. You can't equate them. How? How? Why? You called me a broke degenerate. So which broke degenerate are you more afraid of? The one that lives two days away from you who has a disabled child that just bought a house? Or the one who lives in your country who's probably renting an apartment with a drug problem. I mean, get real, she just did this. There's a big difference to me. I've never been afraid of Koki. Never, never. You know why? It's in my own country. He's in my own fucking province. How does that even make sense? I'm not afraid of this guy who can actually drive to my house, but the guy who can't even get across the border because he's not vaccinated, and nor does he want to travel. 
What do you do? You think I'm a? I'm worse than Natter, guys. I'm worse than Natter. Can you believe it? I know a hell of a lot more. Okay, about okay. Listen, I'm not even... you're, no, you're being incoherent and you're rambling. You need to take a breath, slow down, and and, and just be honest. I'm telling you what, Frenchie. You would grow. Like I know you and both you and Yabed's channels are done growing. It's done. That's why Claire's not sweating the 1,200 people that <laughs> flew the coop. You know, when a company rebrands, you're going to lose some loyalists. <laughs> Big deal. You're going to get new loyalists. I'm fucking going there. You would benefit greatly from just coming clean and moving forward with the fatmosphere. Get, get your dying fat girl shekels and just... I'm not the one who should be afraid. If one out of the two of us should be afraid, it sure as fuck isn't me. Okay? Yeah, okay, buddy. No threat to me. Okay, so you're not afraid, but you're terrified. I don't get it. Next was. Possibly is again. Koki is not a threat to anybody except for the dumb bitch who stays in his life. Wait, 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 Possibly wait. Again. It sure what? as fuck isn't me. Okay? Koki is no threat to me. Next was. Possibly is again. Possibly is again. How dare you say something like that knowing it's not fucking true? You and Yabba are wild. You come out here. See, again, you're doing it again. You're like, I can say what I want because I have all the numbers. And and, and if Neg is after me for defaming his character, then then I'm a victim again. I'm, look, I'm not – I don't want nothing to do with you, Frenchie. If this is a crush, I wish you would just I, – I'll, I got, I'll make some posters. You can hang it on your wall. Come clean about your transgressions and then just make your fat girl shekels. Your channels are done. They're stagnant now. YouTube Underground has peaked. You have peaked. You need this to grow. You have needed me this entire time. That's what the crazy part is. Is Yabba wouldn't exist without me. I'm, I'm telling you right now. Yabba, only reason people know who Yabba is is because she jumped on that hate train with Katie, got sympathy from labeling me with that CPS call, which resulted in six CPS calls for me. And then she launched her whole YouTube existence off that with Dusted Daily, Miss Fucking Wonderful, and the whole rest of the, of the rancid drama community. That's the only reason. That she's 100 pounds overweight, living with her stalker, and making tons of money on YouTube. You're welcome. And the same thing with Frenchie. She was doing weight loss shit, and then she went hard for me on Twitter. She made two videos about me, Gigi, and Peanut. And then what was her third video? A Chantel video. Cookie is not a threat to anybody except for the dumb bitch who stays in his life. This fucking loser couldn't even afford the Uber to come and get me. And if he wanted to come and get me, I would be happy to rumble. When you yeah, Natter threatened her. I did not. The guy that lives in her province threatened her. She's not afraid of him. I did not. You live in a country where you know the other person also has no gun? I'm not afraid of him and his knife. How? He's a criminal. Are you daft? You think just because Trudeau says something that criminals go, oh, yeah, okay, cool. I know, dude, cr more criminals have guns than law-abiding citizens, I'm sure. Wow, that was an ignorant statement. I can defend myself. I'm not a sitting duck. It's not the same. Yeah, Natter, who was in prison, has a prison record for a violent crime against women, he's not a threat. Lives in their same province. I am. The single father at home with his child, whose mo who's, who's mother is fucking gone. It's just me. Yeah, I'm the threat. I'm going to throw it all away. I do. All over her. I can't control myself. This is the same thing as Tragic claiming that Missy Ann is obsessed with him. This is wild. Her and Tragic are going to get along great. Y'all should link up. Get an Airbnb. Koki also doesn't have negative nation, right? He doesn't have his little psychos doing all his bidding. I would Ooh, you guys are a threat. You're Jezebels. You're millionaire Tupperware salesmen. I'm never afraid of negs. I think I was clear about that. That piece of shit can neither afford to come and see me, probably can't get a passport. He was never the real fear. Okay. It was what he was riling up in people. And you oh, like you're doing now. Like you're doing now. I have a I have a community. I have a Discord with 60 people in it who who pay to get in there. I have a pretty tight circle of about seven people I talk to. So you were afraid of that. What do you think these people are going to do? These people are career oriented. They're either homemakers, stay at home parents, disabled. All across the rainbow, all the letters, all the ethnicities. What are you talking about? You never know where people are, right? <laughs> That's you are more paranoid about my unknown community than you are a violent criminal who lives in your province that you have provoked. This is nuts. What I was afraid of, not him. His dumb ass. Are you fucking? Please, please, please. You're gonna play femme fatale like wow. you're afraid of man on earth? I'm not. I'm not wow. at all. I'm afraid of you're doing exactly what you said you were. I'm afraid of your community. Your community has found me on TikTok, and I had I had to go block somebody and delete like six nasty fucking comments. 
Your community came over and said they hoped that my children would murder me and do you all a favor. I'm sorry, has anybody from my community came and said anything to that effect to you? Do you have a child at home that I'm sending hordes of people after on the internet? I'm just curious. The unknown. And what fucking psychos might come at you? Koki is the known Exactly. Psycho. Definitely not afraid of, of a psycho who's also, let's remind everybody, on fucking probation or parole or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, because, you know, criminals who have been to prison for violent crimes really follow the rules. He wouldn't have the balls to make a fucking move because everyone... The guy with no criminal record, yeah, he's unhinged. Knows I wouldn't hesitate. Not the same thing. Don't now she's not scared of you. She's scared of everybody else. A week after she riled everybody up against me, now she's not scared of me. She's scared of everybody else. They just don't want me to have anything. They don't. These women have got to get out of the house. They have got to go see their doctors and get this right. Dumb fuck. Wow. What was that? Because everyone knows I wouldn't hesitate. Not the same thing, dumb fuck. Uh, oh, I love how you edited out the insults when you use profanity, but you kept... <laughs> You're smart. You're smart. You know how to skirt terms of service. Are you banking all this money you're making? Because I'm going to tell you what, man. Uh, getting a lawyer has been looking better and better lately because I'm, I've about reached my peak of, of slander and defamation. I understand now why I was sent cease and desist orders, too, because of the slander and defamation. So keep talking. There's danger in it. So... Just, you might want to cool your jets. I know you're making a lot of money. I know you're getting a lot of attention. I know that you're highly emotional. Quite. Why is this fucking snob counting my money again? Megs. I'm sorry, what? Um, that's all you guys have talked about is my money. That's always a point of contention for you. Uh, it, it was for Tragic for, for the last week and a half. So nobody's counting your money. When you go live on a public platform and people decide to give you money and it shows up this big and orange with the dollar amount, it's quite noticeable. It's also quite noticeable when these people parade these screenshots of these dollar amounts around on Twitter, on YouTube. So, like, nobody's counting it. It's in our face. Again, the ego. Quite. Why is this fucking snob counting my money again? Megs. Negs, remember, I told you guys, he's the one who counts everybody's money. Why is this fucking snobby ass counting my Four months, I didn't say anything. I count everybody's money, right? Okay, cool. Fucking money again. Why? I'm the unhinged why, one. Why does she think everything's about money? Maybe I'm everything unhinged. About money. You know, the beauty thing of poor people, and I'm not, I'm not saying that condescending, I am fucking poor, okay? I've been poor my whole life. I was born poor, I'm probably gonna die poor. You know what the best thing about poor people is? You never have to worry if they're fucking worrying about your money, trying to hustle your money. Poor people aren't so fucking preoccupied with money. It in my opinion, you find a lot more morals in the poor. You're not poor. You you have made five times as much as I have over the last year and currently. What are you talking about? Because we're not all fucking cutthroat, just worrying about lining our pockets and getting more and more and more. Then why do you do? Why are you doing? Why do you need to lie and victimize yourself? Then if it's not for money, what's it for? Then are you saying that the attention is priceless? We're happy with little because it's what we're used to having. Oh, what we're used to having. Uh, I'm sure they screenshot it by now, or maybe uh, Ped Durst didn't because it doesn't fit his narrative. Uh, but I'll, I'll tell you a story. I grew up poor, uh, welfare. My parents both, dad, uh, eighth grade education, who is who is very well off now. And my mother dropped out, who is well off now. And But she, she pulled herself up by her bootstraps, pulled us out of the gutter, got us off welfare as quick as possible, and, and raised me with an open mind and to love everybody and accept them for who they were. Unfortunately, assholes like you and society abused me from the age of seven, as soon as I entered the public school system, and I kind of have a bit of a cynical view of the world. But I still want to think the—I still want to believe in the best of everybody. Um, I'm not poor now. I'm not, I'm not, I am on the poverty line. I don't make a lot of money, but— we're not in rags. We're not. I'm not on welfare. None of that. I support us with with the money that I earn. But I think it's really bold of you to dismiss all of these this 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 predator and make this about yourself and lie all over some shekels because that you are taking points of contention that aren't even relevant and running with those and ignoring the actual pertinent information. It's crazy. Don't fucking worry about my money, you jealous. And I don't mean she's jealous of my money. She's jealous of the money I made on YouTube last year. That's what it all comes down to. It's jealousy. <laughs> That's why we threw Tragic under the bus. It was jealousy. From YouTube last year. So it doesn't matter what she's got and her fucking journalism and the this and the that. It's never enough for these fucking greedy, snob, rich. And there, I said it. Oh, we're elitist now. Your fucking privilege is showing you, snob, One percent. No, I have to make, I, I did look it up. If you make, globally, I, I believe it is, if you make $45,000 a year, you are in the top 1%.
So, there's that. I would rather I am not in the top 1%, I assure you. Be friends with the poor. Okay? It is what it is. I've always hung around, I don't want to say hung around the poor. My friends are all poor. I grew up fucking poor. It's a mentality. It's a, it's a Well, obviously. No, nobody's counting what's in your fucking Obviously, I'm poor. This is a pity party. Do you ever hear me talk about me being poor or growing up poor? I just told you that story to, to humble you a little bit, maybe. I don't give a fuck. I am not who I was in the past, man. I don't forget where I came from. Like this whole experience right now, a year from now, I'm not going to forget where I came from here. You know what I'm saying? It's called growth. I'm not going to hang on to my trauma of being poor and on welfare and having hand-me-downs, goofy haircuts, tons of health problems, abused, bullied. I'm not going to live that, relive that so I can feel sorry for myself in front of my audience and make myself a victim of something that has nothing to do with me. Fucking pocket because all of our pockets are empty. And that's what I always, I, I like about poor people like me. If you say something, if you do something, the morals, the everything, it's stronger in the poor because you never have to worry about what the fuck they're trying to scam off you or make off you. We don't have minds like that. Mm. Unlike you, DC, you Ooh. fucking snob off you. We don't have minds like that. Unlike you, DC, you fucking snob. You know what's crazy about you and Yabba is you don't make any, uh... You don't make any intelligent point. You don't. You just use profanity and call people names to diffuse because you're because your audience. That's how their minds work. They're incapable of forming an opinion of their own, so they just say, "Well, what's Frenchie telling me?" And I'll just think that about that person, because everybody wants to belong somewhere. Some of these people are probably just feel held captive because listen to you. This is what you're doing to people that have that didn't do anything to you. You literally said you're less afraid of a violent criminal in your province. Then you are a man who lives two days drive from you, can't even get across the border. You literally said, I can't get a passport, and you're still afraid of me. Oh, I'm sorry. You're afraid of my mob of uh, Tupperware salesmen. And you know what, DC? Stay fucking butthurt and bitter over the money I made last year. If you were able to That's do That's awesome, Clara. Me, if you had half of my fucking personality, if you can make a fun time for your subs and not a fucking preaching and acting all fucking hoity toity and better than everybody. It's called having an intelligent conversation. I've watched hours. Of, uh, of of Clara's content, all of us have, and uh, I wouldn't say she's grown on us. It was just giving it a chance. It's called having an intelligent conversation. You should really look into it. Maybe you would have had the views last year too. Negzi, two thousand from circa twenty seventeen to twenty twenty two. I would say, yeah, buddy. You guys have a lot in common. A can lot I get some yeah buddies in the um, chat? <laughs> and by the way, can we just mention what do I have in common with Negzi? Anyway, whatever, whatever. Somebody just made a great point in the uh, comments in the chat. But the chat room so fast. I'm missing everything. I'm sorry. It said Frenchie, you don't even have memberships on your channel. It's just sped right. up. Because as a poor person, again, I mean, okay, we're some $5. No, the, yeah, yeah, the loudest person in the room is is the one that's right. It doesn't make or break anybody, right? But as a poor person, you understand the value of a $5. You yeah, it started, what about me? Where's my apology? Then it went, why do you care when Missy cries, but not when French Fry Girl cries? And then finally it was, where's my Marcel Becker when it was happening to me? Here's why you didn't have a Marcel Becker is because when Negs did stuff, Negs did it in the open as Negs. I didn't have 55 troll accounts like Ped Durst, okay? I had me. I'm a bad liar. I'm a horrible troll, and I'm a bit of an idiot. But I didn't want any, I didn't want there to be any, I wanted people to know it was me. So I don't know why you would need a Marcel Becker. That's why, why do you not think that there's no, like, tea popping up on me? I have told everybody to drop their DMs because I'm not a piece of shit. Because I'm not a sneaky piece of shit. I'm not all these things you say I am. Don't you think by now if I were all these things you said I was, there would be a ton of evidence of it? There's evidence of me being a fuckstick for the last year and running with, with fake news. Yes. That's it. You know how I am with everything. And I always say I'm so cheap. I'm so cheap. I'm cheap. Where As a poor person. And I spend where it counts. Okay? Growing up poor is what made me like this. I oh, fucking shit. I didn't grow up poor. I grew up humble, appreciate but it didn't make me a f belligerent asshole. I appreciate everything I have. I appreciate everything I get because I'm no, giving you don't. nothing. And I you, you said earlier that it was about how much we could get and take away from people when you're literally doing the same thing. You're trying to convince people to not join my community and not give me money to support my child by doing what well. I'm working here. I'm working here, okay? Bear with me. Um, so it's, 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 this whole thing is contradictory. I mean, it, it's really crazy because Yabba did the same thing. She's like, oh, you did X, Y, Z. And then she turns around and does X, Y, Z. And I've worked hard my entire life for every fucking So if you're the victim, by the time, did you turn around and victimize people the same way, then you're not a victim anymore. You see what I'm saying, right? You're not a victim anymore. You're no better than I was, so you have no 
you have no area to judge me. There's no room to judge me at that point. We're equals at that point. In your eyes, this is according to how you are seeing the situation. Who's dying? That's in my pocket. I never had to power level on people or act better than anybody else, you see, because I'm not. I'm trash. I'm power level? That's all you do is power level. Poor, poor. But my morals are 10 times more than So yeah, rich ass DC, snob ass fucking DC, throwing her money in everybody's faces. You know what? She's got memberships on her channel. She did them right from the beginning. Mm, she also had so? to say that I was e-begging last night. Bitch, I don't even have a fucking PayPal. That's what lying and making a situation about yourself has nothing to do with you is. It's literal e-begging. But I see yours is on the description of all your videos. It's the first fucking thing when you open your goddamn Twitter. Has actual predator in her community, is worried about Cash App. What do you see? PayPal. It's never enough for the rich, right? They want to eat the poor. What they have is never enough. It's never enough. To the fact... I'm going to tell you right now, Frenchie. Um, I don't forget where I came from because m my mother has taught me. Like, I have bags of Adidas, Nike shoes, pants from my kid, um, and I don't ever sell them. And then, you know how, Frenchie, I mean, unless you're buying Adidas or whatever it is, or <laughs> what is it? A Beebus. I can't remember the knockoff. This shit's expensive. I give it away. Okay, I give it away to people who are, I don't know if it goes to less fortunate. I give it to organizations who either sell that to fund, like there's a local center, it's a senior center. You donate things, they sell them within the uh, gift shop to fund this center so the elderly have somewhere to go for company, meals, vaccinations, whatever it may be. They, they, they provide all these services to the local community as well as a local transport for medical care and kind of like an Uber service for people on Medicaid. So... That's where our stuff goes because we did grow up poor. And I'll be honest with you right now. My mom never took a handout. I had, I had some wealthy rel relatives who are, are arms dealers, legal arms dealers. And that shit's big money. And they bought their kids, you know, the Jordans and the Eastlands and uh, Nike. And they were always gently used, too. No shoes in the house, that type of thing. They had shoes for basketball. So all this stuff was gently used. My mom would never take it for free, but she would buy it even though we were poor. And then you know what happened with that stuff? When we were done with it, she would give it to somebody else. Not sell it, she would give it to somebody else. That's what being poor turns you into. That. Not this. This is not what being being poor makes you. That, um, can we just mention the fact that Frenchie tried to get into Neg's DMs and um, she tried to suck up to him. They made $1,000 in 24 suck hours. Up to him. They made a thousand dollars in twenty four hours. I didn't make a thousand dollars in twenty four hours. You know what, Clary? I, yeah, I mean, I, I've been there. I mean, I'm not. We're not in the same field, but like, I, I started out as a. Uh, <clears throat> I started out minimum wage in two thousand at a uh, video store. No, I'm sorry. 1999, end of 1999 in a video store, make a minimum wage. Go look up what minimum wage was. Hang on a second. Hey, Alexa, what was minimum wage in 1999? What? Anyway, it wasn't shit. I had a baby on the way. I had just recovered from a horrible experience. I, I just, I had just come out of uh, trying to work in a group home. I was assaulted by a client. <clears throat> when I say assaulted, I mean bloody, black eye, busted lip, that type of thing. Went into, I didn't leave my house for four months after this. <laughs> recovered from that. Six twenty-five. Okay, so I went to this video store and. They took full advantage of me having a baby on the way. Oh, my God. I said, I will work whatever you want. I was working 60 to 70 hours a week. When my kid was born, the manager there, this guy was, uh, he was sick, whatever. I was, I was about to take his store and make the big bucks. Um, I was up all night. My kid wasn't born until 3.30 in the morning with emergency C-section. And I had been asleep two hours. He calls me. I can't make it in. This is this. And I, at this time, I think I had received a dollar pay increase because I was like an assistant manager. So I'm making seven fifty, seven twenty five, dollars working 60 hour weeks. I had to go in and open the store. Was it four twenty five? Okay, so I was making above minimum wage. They did. They did hook me up a little bit, I guess. So what I'm saying is, yes. Eventually, after six months, I kissed enough ass. I, I, I worked the shitty hours. I worked in the, in the city where I had no business working at midnight by myself. 
holy fuck, that was scary. Sorry if you're offended, but no, I was, it was, it was not a good neighborhood, sweetie. Until I finally got a valuable store in a, uh, a wealthy community, uh, a suburb of Indianapolis. I, I started out minimum wage and I ended up making, it was only 19 grand a year then, but I got $1,500 a month bonuses. So scratch and crawl. And somebody I've mentored did that. They started out overweight, ambitious, lost a hundred pounds in a year. And now they run a gym. Frenchie was trying to get into his DMs and suck up to him. I'm just gonna let this play. There's no commentary necessary. I've already said at the beginning, this was the entire story of Froggy making that fucking troll account to troll Nick. So I'm just this has this has this has nothing. There's, there's that, I don't want to hear this. No. This to rile me up and grab a fuck all. Froggy had been targeting him. I don't want. I'm sorry. I'm skipping that because it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. It has nothing to do with any of this. It's all right there in this scroll through. It has okay? nothing to do with there is anything. Fuck all to say. Fuck all to see. And if anybody truly believes, I don't even think these people exist. I know she did this to rile me up and Rabo, you got what you wanted. I'm riled up. You know what? Let's keep talking about scratching and crawling. Uh, clawing. Uh, in 2017, we moved out of uh, the one, one bedroom apartment on credit cards. And I managed to, within nine months, create a following on YouTube and financially uh, uh, get off the $25 of food stamps we were getting. And I was able to pay our rent, all of our bills with my talent. So, yeah. Nobody, nobody thinks that I would ever try to get into D uh, Negs' DMs. I did just pay those credit cards off, though. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather myself. There, I said it. I would literally rather a lot of money. than ever have anything to do with him in that kind of way. Froggy is back in his Twitch sucking his Froggy was always trying to be sucking Froggy's the real thirsty one who's been crying. No, 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 no. Keisha is not doing that. I bust Keisha's chops a lot. There's nothing. What are you talking about? Constantly trying to get into the fucking uh, DMs. I, you know what? I have shut nearly everybody down in my DMs. Hardly anybody DMs me because I'm short, I'm brief, and I want nothing to do with any drama. Why she tried to frame me like this for next, so that she could be the hero and, oh, Negs, oh, let me pat you on the back and suck your froggy, you fucking... Why are you so, why are all of you so sexually you vile? It's on sight, bitch. You know that for the rest of your fucking life, okay? Negs, you disgusting human parasite. Oh, here we go. Don't get it twisted, Negs. Yeah, anybody buddy. worth a damn would never want jack shit to do with you. Sure. Never. Okay. The only desperate, disgusting Here we go. fucking DMs are on your level, bitch. You know, like DC. Just wanted to mention that. Just FYI. But stop comparing yourself to Missy Ann. Frenchie, you've been through your own shit, okay? That is a nightmare. It is horrible. Nobody should go through that. Nobody. But don't you dare talk down to Missy Ann or anybody else and say, Well, what about my trauma? We've heard about your fucking trauma. How about... Who the fuck said that? Who the fuck is the one who sat there whining like a little fucking victim? Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh 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 uh. Mm -mm. Little girl, sit down, and I need you to breathe and count to ten, hundred, thousand, million. You have no right to be getting triggered now. You sat there and totally invalidated somebody else's experience and brought unmitigated hate their way because you felt a certain way about something that had nothing to do with you. The sooner that you realize that, the better off you are going to be going forward. I know this is probably making you money hand over fist, but I promise you, the last year of me running with this fake news, unbeknownst to me, had me physically ill. I had more physical ailments, more depression, more self. I mean, I, I was struggling. I had lost I had lost thousands of dollars with, with fraudulent computer deals, all kinds of stuff. I had gone to court. I had been served two no contact orders. I couldn't understand why. Why why is all this bad stuff happening to me? Honey, this is me. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and call you names and stuff because I don't need to defuse this. I, I have facts. Oh, my drama. That was Missy Ann. It wasn't me, it wasn't Gala, it wasn't anybody else. I don't give a fuck that anybody knows my trauma or not. I kept this shit secret for what? Over a fucking year, you stupid ass. Damn, here Missy we go. See, this this is how she started out with me, Pina, and, and Gigi. I mean, the gaining ground, Mr. Uh, expert eye reader. He, he... <laughs> Every fucking time we bring up next, it's like, what about my drama? It wasn't over for me in September. That's exactly what you're doing. Holy fuck. Magic is still here. We don't give a fuck. I've been clear about that. Your fucking trauma with tragic has jack shit to do with me and next. And your trauma with me or whatever, or Natter, or whoever you're not or are afraid of, has nothing to do with Missy Ann or Clara or even me because it's all lies. What are you doing? 
God, she needs to chill. Else with You're gonna get yeeted. I'm telling you right now, y'all need to like dial your fuck shit back because you're all like, yay, Nex is gone. Oh, you brought him back. Oh, I can't come back. You know why I got yeeted? This shit. Nobody. You've been the one sitting there fucking whining. But do go on. What about me? What about my drama? Nobody else did that. Nobody else did that, Lucy. Nobody am I right or am I wrong? Get the fuck over yourself. Both of you. How about you care about somebody else's for a change? Am How I right that? or am I wrong? I'm right. right. Ironic, ironic again, right? I should care about someone else's problems or whatever, but when I cared about Chantal, this had fucking a whole lot to say about it. So we only have to care about Missy Ann and Tragic or any other lunatic that DC says that we have to care about. Is there some kind of religion that says that we have to bend the knee to you and show you unbridled respect and obedience? I'm curious as to who you think you are exactly. Fuck you, fuck Missy, fuck Tragic, fuck Nex, fuck everybody that I don't want to care about. How would, dude, you should, you might get yeeted for this live stream. This is horrible. This is a really bad, you are harassing people. You understand that? You cannot go on YouTube and send targeted harassment towards people like this. If you were delivering facts in a calm, cool fashion and people decided to do what they wanted beyond that, then that's fine. But you are, you are inciting a mob. You can't do that. I got a manual review because a bunch of people went to and tagged YouTube to look at my channel. And guess what? That's my fault. I don't have to look into your fucking story. I don't have to give two fucks. Me too, Claire. Actually give a single solitary fuck about somebody else's problems. You're going to make plenty of money. Don't worry about it. I'm not fucking worried. There she is again counting my fucking money. Who's worried? Who the fuck is worried? I came on this platform to roast these motherfuckers. I never even thought I would monetize this channel. Unlike you. Why? E -begging. Oh, because you're poor, right? I'm so poor. I didn't want to make money. Okay. I was never going to monetize this, but I was here to fucking tell them. I'm here for a hobby. Did it turn into a monetized hobby? You're damn right it did. <laughs> you know, it my money. You know it is what it is. Running to Megs and licking his taint. I'm going to log off, close my fucking channel, work like I always have, punch in, punch out, and be poor for the rest of my life. And you know what, DC? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop it. Now you're just blowing smoke. Uh, do you really think your audience is this stupid that you came on here? You're going to go to school, be poor the rest of your life just so you can fight the good fight, right? But, oh, no, now you're making money. So the slander and lies is okay. Wow. You, uh, dude, I'm telling you right now, um, I got nipped with a manual review. Did you know that when you delete things from your channel that they're only gone to the public? That they're still on YouTube servers under your, your channel name and they can't be manually <laughs> reviewed. I'm just saying. Because when I come home at night and I put my head down on the pillow. If they do is another thing, but they can be. Hmm? I'm like you. DC had a lot to say about peeps forgiving people for evolved behavior. Funny she's here. I've been saying it for months, eh? I've been saying it for months and I'm really glad it's, it's coming out on one of these fucking loud mouths now. <laughs> Most people don't give a fuck what I do on this channel. The only real problem that this community has had with me has been the money that I've made this year. No, my problem with you is you being inflammatory, is, is being, all, all the words I use, incendiary, inflammatory, defamatory, slanderous, blah, blah, blah. You're lying. You're lying. You're violating YouTube's terms of service, allegedly. I don't know. Um, it took quite a bit to take me down. It took thousands of people to take me down. So um, what you're doing is not a good look. It's I can tell problem. you that. It is the problem. Because everybody they can? Is so fucking worried about counting everybody else's fucking money. Instead of getting off their fucking asses, working a little harder. This is harassment. It's all this is. Themselves. This is harassment. It's oh, nothing more. I came into this game and I've been going, going since May when I monetized this fucking channel. You don't see me taking too many days off. You don't see me sitting on my ass. She's a politician. Play on someone else's she's a politician because she's lying. She's lying for money. React, but I monetize all my shit and pop my PayPal up there. I sat here since May. You sound completely, uh, you don't day. sound unhinged at all. People? That's called hustling. I'm you don't, a hard worker. No, no, no. Lying and defaming people is not hard work. You're a politician. You're no better than Trudeau. You're no better than Biden. You're no better than Trump. You're no better than any of these commentators, these l extreme left wing, right wing grifters. You're just a different type. You're you're a tr you trauma bonded with your audience, and you've made it. Uh, you've made this rule where it's okay for you to say and do whatever you want to anybody else because you're a victim always. I don't count anyone else's money, and if I'm unhappy with what I'm making, I push myself harder. I don't try to drag down everybody around me that's doing better. So for four months, I hustled and bustled on Twitch. I may have run my mouth a couple times. My mouth. My mouth a couple times. But I mostly stayed in my fucking lane. Okay? I did because I didn't want to lose my Twitch. I didn't want to lose what little income I had. Because trust me, for four months, I was like, pfft. I mean, um, 
it w I was like, eh, whatever. I didn't really care about the money. I was just trying to rebuild. So uh, I didn't try to take away from anybody. Frenchy, you have uh, odd. You are punching down on a platform that Claire's channel is smaller than yours. My channel is a tenth, a twentieth, a hundredth of the size of yours. It's insane. That's what four people do. You fucking snob. Doing wow. the same thing. This is oh, harassment. Oh. That's all it is. A manual review would nuke her channel. I guarantee it. I'm not encouraging anybody to do anything. I'm actually. I don't owe her shit. I'm just trying. Look, I want to see people do better, too. I was given a chance. That doesn't mean I want to. I, she's, I'll never, ever have anything to do with her on a personal level. But I'm not going to sit here and wish bad things on people because they have such a harsh opinion on me. That doesn't make it right. If this is the hill you are willing to die on, then Debbie you Trump, I have, multiple have never climbed it in the I, I Honestly, I watch this, and I feel like it's a reflection of who I've been for the last year. It, it really sucks. First place. Multiple. There were screenshots. What good would that misogynistic garbage fire contribute to this platform absolutely nothing in the slightest he doesn't want to contribute anything to this platform this is not what content creators in the particular community should be doing this is beyond what deplorable think, and forgivable you know anybody who is in here um with this tr this concern trolling about uh concern being so trolling is exactly what you're it was. not my fucking mother all right nope. go be disappointed somewhere else yeah, i've registered your message i don't give a shit okay <laughs> go yeah, she doesn't give a shit so hard that here she is on a third reaction, digging the, day, the, the, the hole that she's sitting in deeper and making a fool out of herself for the third time this week. Guess who else did this for four years? It took four years for her to get yeeted. Who just got yeeted recently? She, she, she's, uh, <laughs> she's the prize fighter known as Boiled Slice. <laughs> yeah, buddy. No, no, I don't care. I don't care. You don't care like Negs doesn't care. You care so fucking hard it's killing you. Hmm? Wow. <laughs> Sit there counting your money being bothered. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Don't be I disappointed mean, in Frenchie's chat. Mm. Go ahead. Or Yabba. Yeah, four dollars a change over here. I don't count? care if you're disappointed. I don't know who you are. You are a one and a zero on a screen to me, whoever the hell you are who's disappointed. I want to clarify what she meant by that. People were like, "We we're just numbers. That's how the internet works through the phone lines and through fiber optics. Everything you see, maybe even everything you see and you touch is one are ones and zeros. These are all atoms. This is not really a solid object, okay? Just let that blow your mind for a minute. Uh, so everything you see on the screen are is composed of ones and zeros. It's the only way. It's 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 it's, it's how shit works, okay? So calm down. You're not a victim. Uh, who's disappointed here? Did um, I get that right? I, I understood that right, didn't I? I don't know you. I don't know you in real life. You don't know me in real life. So. <laughs> Indy, that's a great comment. I want to address this. I want to address this. Burning the community because she wants to leave. She's not burning shit. Really take a look at what's going on in, in the Everybody's got to be a victim of the internet now. Ah! Community for the past week. Re! Burning. She's trying. The community keeps Re! on going. Keeps on going. We keep making our money for money bags to keep counting. It is what it is. She actually brought together two enemies this week. Hmm? She, she bridged a gap in the community that hadn't existed. Between, well, between Yaba, me, Sam, so the three of us, right? Oh, God. Yeah, that's something to be proud of. Let me tell you again. Sam Telfer has doxxed me not once, not twice, but three times. Uh, uh, well, counting my mother. And called her at work while she was trying to care for um, care for people. Uh, not only Sam Telfer did she also doxxed Yaba and stalked Yaba, called Yaba's children unfortunate looking. And uh, but need, need we remind everybody that French Fry Girl boldly went to Twitter with a lie that Yabba spread, helped MFW spread about me stealing five grand from a child's funeral. So, yeah, you're, you're a great trio. What did you burn down? You Modern day you. four horsemen. You didn't burn jack shit. You actually spread I'm going by weight. By doing what you did and by leaving. <laughs> Community is much better without you. Your most recent video. If, re if Mick read back, I'd probably die. I've seen since Chantel's attempt to dig DD. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. I watched you because you were fun. funny. And intelligent. This is neither. Okay. I am. I start disassociating right. sometimes during these streams. You claim to be a feminist. Claim to have marched for women's right, wearing that pink hat. No. Why are you standing? Clara, content for weeks. That has threatened to beat up. Content for weeks. And if not months. Women. Uh -huh. You should never laugh at Foodie for her. Your not my father attitude again. You had that same attitude on your last stream. Uh -huh. I don't know if you have lost your mind or just showing your true colors. Okay. All right. I am a feminist. A claim to have marched for women's rights, wearing that pink hat. No, I did not attend the women's march. Or as I. You're a fake ass feminist. <laughs> and I you didn't even let her finish her statement. You're a Canadian, unafraid of a guy who has been in prison for a violent crime that lives in your province, who is not afraid of a guy who lives two days drive from you, but you're afraid of his audience where you don't know where they are. But yet you know so much about American politics. <laughs> I love that you just told everyone that you didn't go to the march because you would have to. 
Let her finish her statement, please. Get out of your fucking living room to do it, right? But you bought the hat, money bags. You damn right you bought the hat. You bought the t-shirt. You bought Probably for the meme. Fun. Probably you for the hurt. meme. You fucking hypocrite. I prefer to call it the anti-Semites and rapist march. I bought the pink hat because I thought it was cute. Okay, why are you standing, putting a man, he hasn't been on my channel. Got nothing to say about that, do you, Frenchie? Way, you know, again. Not going to fire up Google and maybe do a little bit of research. Trust me, it, you'll benefit from it. I have. I have. It kicked off with, uh... With, the, with my friend Secret Pedo. I did a bunch of research on him, and everybody got pissed at me because I exposed him publicly because he did six years of prison for harming a child. Fuck him. Um, I mean, I could issue a technicality, but I'm not going to because nobody wants to listen. Um, they don't. They don't want to listen. That's why you got to no. point and laugh. Listen, listen. <laughs> that you're, you're, like, apologizing to somebody who made R8 jokes, okay? The thing about me. Oh, you, you have no problem talking about people sucking each other off and doing this and that, calling people names, but, you know, saying rape is just too much, right? Okay. It's the screenshot that I keep playing at the beginning of these streams. It's the trauma, right? Okay. She has nothing to do with, um, um, where's your big mouth go? How come y'all have jack shit to say about that? You know, you, you cut this up, tried to cut out the insults, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The weight of your harassment in this video you could, like, hide behind your numbers. MFW did for a long time, guys. MFW was pulling tens of thousands of views. She was doing really well, but this is how she started. No, she started like Frenchie. It's been a year. I think Frenchie's going to burn out a lot quicker than MFW, because I'm telling you, 15 years, Frenchie, and it took thousands of people, thousands of retweets, constantly tagging YouTube daily to get me off the platform for shit like this, Okay. So, I mean, I don't know how much longer people are really going to tolerate your slander, defamation of character, and you acting unhinged for your, to line your own pockets because you're poor. But I don't think people are going to tolerate it much longer. YouTube's definitely not going to tolerate it. Trust me. Um, um, you have a fucking, uh... This is harassment. Fuck? The fake feminism? Oh, 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 you don't even know what to say? <laughs> what? You're a fucking joke. If you're gonna... She's a joke. She's speaking more coherently than you. Holy shit. Stand behind this dumb fuck. You should keep the little baby balls that you have when you come out saying dumb shit like I gassed up Koki. Um. Ever laugh at Foodie for her not my father attitude again? I'm not going to watch Foodie again, so that's a moot point. You have the same attitude. Here we go. Yeah, we're going to hold her fucking dumb ass to that. Because <laughs> when this shit doesn't work out. Oh, oh, are you, are you the mafia boss? Are you the bouncer of the community now, Frenchie? Yeah? Are you the, are you the, yeah, you're the gatekeeper. You and Yabber are the gatekeepers. You got to protect this grift. It's fine. Nobody wants it. I don't want it. If but if I do, if I want to, if I want to drag, not drag, but if I want to review, uh, it's not really hard to drag y'all. By the way, if I want to review Chantel or Amber Lynn, I'm going to. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Oh, is that you thinking I'm coming for your money now? Why are you pocket watching me? Out in his money bags, it's like, oh no, the views, the coins. You better not ever fucking try. You're, and I'm gonna have it that same attitude in every stream. I don't know if you've lost your mind or just showing your true colors. Maybe a bit of both. No, I haven't lost my mind. I haven't lost my mind at all. I am in the process of trying to expose a dangerous predator who has infiltrated communities full of women and gay men. That's what I'm trying to what do. What you got to say, Frenchie? And, but why the fuck are you doing it, like, the way you are? Oh, 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 predator's been exposed. All the proof's out there, the receipts are out there, but she's not doing it right. This person has trauma from a domestic violent occurrence, and I'm very sorry for that. And this is how they're treating a, a, another predator. They they provoke Natter constantly with, with nicknames such as Koki, 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 calling him, reaching into his life, texting him, agitating him constantly while claiming he's abusing and sexually harassing and stabbing people. And now she's, oh, this is insane. This is, this is not good. Again, I said this wait, yeah, God, the day before yesterday. Good for you, going after Tragic. Good, great. Nobody likes Tragic. As soon as you find out who Tragic is, you don't like him. Okay, so drop it. That's what this is about. What What the fuck, dog, are you having this fight, yo? You're agitating whatever you're... I, I, look, I have a mental illness. I'm not trying to say you are. I don't know you from Adam. You got to take care of yourself, your mentals. Or you're... It's going to... I'm telling you, it will It will kill you. It, you, will, you will, it will kill you early. I'm almost 45. I had to do something so I don't die of a heart attack in my sleep at 49 because I don't know how to control my emotions. No one's telling you not to do that. Everyone is saying, good for you. Get him. Go after him. Go with your little new community. But you're not going to uh, use negs or, or bolster. You can use him. You can do whatever the fuck you want with him. You're not bringing him back onto the platform, bolstering him, trying to rebuild his fucking image to take. Hey, that's my job.
It's my job to rebuild my image. I don't really give a fuck what people who dislike me based on lies think about me. Now, if people have an opinion on ba based on my behavior over the last year and it's, a, it's an honest one, then that's fine too. I don't care because I'm not here for them. I'm here to keep it pushing. Down, tragic. You do what you need to do. And that's not me invalidating anybody's experience. That's just saying, I can't, what am I going to do? Am I going to atone for the rest of my life? No. Do what you need to do. Play who you need to, to play and get played as hard as you're getting played, dumbass. You didn't have to bring him to the community. You did. You knew this was going to be a problem. You knew you were going to What community? Shit, but you're so fucking cocky. By the way, you know that, uh, that um, what was it, the donation she did the other day, $110. You know why she did that donation? Because what donation of $110? What are you talking about? Because her cocky, dumb ass sat on her platform and told Hussie that uh, if she brought Negs on her channel and she associated with Negs, she wouldn't lose a sub and it wouldn't go the way it had gone for Hussie. Mm -hmm. And it did. <laughs> you know what? Just to, uh, <laughs> just because I could be petty, I'm not going to go on Clara's channel. Yeah, I'm not. I'll have her on here. Absolutely. So and that's and that's not a personal thing against her. It's just so you you assholes have to come to Twitch to see it. <laughs> she called her dumb ass out and she had to make the donation. They had bet a hundred bucks. <laughs> Cocky thought she would do the same fucking thing and no one would say something. Mm, no. And we might and, and it might not just be me and her. It'll be me, Clara. We'll get fucking uh, we'll get Missy Ann up here. We'll get Missy 007 up here. We'll get the whole crew from from 2016 to present time up here. We'll just laugh our asses off and have a good time. And all of you are trying to change the subject and talk about Negs when I'm trying to talk about something else. But go off, sis. She was. Excuse you? Excuse are you senile? You're fucking senile. You see what she just tried to do there? You, you guys are trying to change the subject and talk about Negs when I'm talking about something else. We don't give a fuck what you're talking about. You can keep talking about whatever. Uh, obviously, you don't give a fuck what we're talking what about. What do you want? We've been talking about Negs. Why are you policing what other people are talking about? Why aren't you talking about tragic? See, I could do that too. I'm gonna keep talking about Negs, and you keep trying to change the subject. Why are you gonna keep harassing me for? I thought you were terrified of me. It's not us. That's you. That's you. <laughs> She's a fool, man. When have I ever defended Negs? When have I done that? What, point me to where I have ever defended what Negs has done in the past. Point me to where I have said... You yeah, but it all over us. You chantaled us. <laughs> Negs did gross things. Yeah, but you did gross things too. That's literally what you're doing. Yeah, but you were giving it too. You're being gross right now, so I'll just point that yeah, out. Yeah, but you didn't keep your mouth shut. That's you. <laughs> just... That's what you're doing. You're like, but why didn't the Marcel back in project defend me? But why didn't it be? Where's my appellate? That's literally what you're doing. Everything you and Yabba and Sam have regurgitated on this platform has been parroting uh, false victim victimhood. That's all it is. I mean, it's really... It's super pathetic. It's super sad. But it's hilarious. It just sucks that there's other people being invalidated by you when nothing has happened to you. Justifying everything that your little bitch boy has done. Bitch Fuck boy, you both. Huh? Yeah, buddy. None of it matters. Point me to where I have excused any of it. People are hearing what they want to hear. And they're totally ignoring right, the issue of tragic. Totally ignoring it. And they're doing it willfully. It's... Okay, okay, I'm gonna take her off. <laughs> I got you. can't handle it because you, you need this to be about you somehow. I am a proxy for you to be a victim. And to get more money because you know that the Chantel grift can't last forever. You know it can't. I can't. I can't fucking do this for another goddamn day. It never had anything to do with tragic. Never. Not for this community. It didn't have anything to do with you or Yabba. You both could have just stayed in your lane and made your fat girl shekels. Seriously. You inserted yourself and now you're like, oh, I don't understand. This is, this is not an appropriate reaction from somebody who has inserted themselves into a situation that didn't even involve them in the first place. You did this. You helped do this to Hussy too, when he had me on. You were part of that mob as well. Um, we're clear about that. You're never gonna change what it's all about. This is about Negs. We've been talking about Negs. You go over. Nobody's been talking about Negs. I've been gone. I'm not. I don't. What is going on? I'm still on the internet. The internet doesn't. Just because I'm not on YouTube doesn't mean I can't go on other channels and be on some fuck shit. I don't get your logic. What you want to do with tragic? We're gonna keep talking about Negs. Cool. You're not going to more content for me. Everything Negs did and blame what did I do? You've shown no proof. Everything on tragic, okay? You've we don't all give a shit about Missy Ann's fucking story. I'm very sorry for what Obviously. you did Missy Ann. But you don't get to say you don't give a shit and then say you're sorry. That is you protecting your fragile ego because you lack confidence. Everything you're saying is a scared little girl lashing out at the mean world. It doesn't change a fucking thing in my life, okay? It doesn't. Yeah, buddy. I came out on my platform to talk about what I had gone through with Negs. 
I don't give What did you go through? You said I stole money from my kid's funeral and I had a reaction to it. Suck it up. A shit about anybody else's fucking trauma. Sorry, I don't know you, okay? Uh, not every person on the planet needs to do research into strangers. Fritching, I'm gonna ask, you wanna, you wanna, I mean, like, if you really want to, why don't you come on panel with me and have a chat? No bullshit. Seriously. No bullshit, no trolling, nothing but the facts, adult conversation. Excuse me. Okay, hang on just a second. So, let's do it. Let's, let's panel up. Let's chat in front of all these people. Let's work it out, me and you. You're not afraid of Natter, who's been to prison, who physically assaulted a woman, did time for it. You shouldn't be afraid to just par panel up with me and just chat about this stuff like two adults. I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to curse at you. I'm not going to invalidate you. I'm not going to insult you. I'm being sincere. Because I'm concerned that she, that if, I'm telling you, if she doesn't reel this in, she's going to lose it all. Stories, nor do they have to give a fuck. We're here in girl world. We care about what affects girl world and our community. Mm. Negs is the one that affected our community. Not I didn't have an effect on your community. Your community is a hundred times bigger than mine. Not you, not tragic, and nothing you went through, okay? Uh, tragic victimized women in my community, Frenchie. Can you, can you call that up? DC, stop trying to change the fucking subject. And stop trying. You know what? If you if you want to lie on people and you want to do dumb shit, like say what you did about me and the GM, the next. You know what, DC? Don't, don't waste your time doing it to me, because like I've said, I keep everything, everything. Mm. And I have. What's, I want you to. I want you guys to start dropping everything. Absolutely, fuck all to hide. If anyone, oh, she kept it, but she won't put shit up. I'll you did. I want you to show all the the shit you said to me on Twitter. Do you have that? Because we do. All the hate. You you said fucked up shit to people. You said fucked up shit to people like, I don't care if they deserved it or not. You don't get to sit here and clutch your... Because, see, you think that you're beyond reproach. You could just say whatever you want. Do you hear yourself? I hope somebody plays this stream for her as she's watching. She needs to hear herself. Open up everything. I have nothing to hide. Ever. On any fucking subject. Call me out on something. Yeah, here's the DM. Yeah, here's the screenshot. I don't give a fuck. I, I, no, you don't give a fuck about anybody but yourself. This is sad. I have kept the same energy since the first day I ever came onto this platform. You, yes, you have. Oh, Holy shit, energy. have you. My morals are my morals. Who yeah, I am. Yeah, you don't have any morals, though. That's the problem. Who I am. I don't shift. I don't falter. I don't... This is harassment. She doesn't realize this. One manual review. <laughs> Gone. And then you get to be on the ban evasion list. <laughs> you like it or you hate it, and I don't really give a fuck whether <laughs> either or, okay? But the point is, if you're going to ever try this dirty shit with me, DC, again, I will always have the receipts. Don't fucking try me, you... You are now. Now you're now you're being threatening. You've harassed two people that did nothing to you for 42 minutes, and now you're threatening one of them. I have a feeling she said that today because I put out or I read off the DM from her yesterday, and she didn't mm. like that because I made a pool out of her. Because sure. this bitch doesn't keep the same energy. She's a fucking flip flopper. She's no, she's not a flip flopper. Too busy counting everybody else's money. She doesn't even know what the fuck she's doing anymore. That is untrue. That is untrue too, Miss uh, Connecticut Jew money. Remember that? Remember when you said that in my DMs and nobody cared, but you guys lynched me in the in the public square. Yeah. That's all I have to say. I don't even know what else she went on to say. I really don't. Um, I don't know. She said more. But I just don't care. I don't. Care. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> well, why are you live slandering us? Because I'm just. Yeah. If uh, there's a bunch more shit to address and lies, uh, you know what? Maybe we're going to have to come back out here again. No, you got to address your lies because nobody else is lying but you. Yeah. Whatever. I don't care. I will or say it until I don't have a voice anymore. Negs is trash. Yep. He's not sure. getting back into this fucking community in DC. I don't. I was never a part of Girl World. I don't meet the requirements. I'm not on blood pressure medicine. You know, I don't. I, 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 I could think <laughs> for myself and I'm losing weight. So I'm, I've never been a part. I don't meet the criteria. Again, let me stress to you, negative nation. You're worried about people from your community leaving, coming over here and actually seeing who you really are because I still have the videos you made about me, Gigi, and Peanut. Those were disgusting. You showed your face and said the most horrible things and nobody cared because it was me. See, you can get into bed with whoever the fuck you want. This makes you, <laughs> not the rest of us, okay? Yeah, buddy. Oof, what a mess. She's a hot mess. I don't think you can save her from herself, guys. <laughs> that was unhinged. That was 100% unprovoked. 
and unhinged. There was no reason for a response to anything like that. What did it have to... Yeah, I mean, like, she was just wanting to protect her ego. That's it. She doesn't want to appear weak. That's why these people won't acknowledge tragic and not invalidate other people's because they have to protect their exterior to the rest of these individuals in their community that have bought into their shtick. It's all about what looks good, not what's right. Yeah, thank fuck that is over. Jesus Christ. I'll be lucky to get an erection for the next month. blown away man that was yeah word soup word salad that was a salad shooter malfunctioning it was somebody that just did half an eight ball trying to use a salad shooter and they don't know what the fuck they're doing and they can't stop shaking and there's water on the floor and they're trying to plug it in I don't know just whatever right Mick he's talking to a head he's crazy oh, I'm scared Okay, cool, right on. <laughs> Let me see here how much time I got. All right, cool, I got to, I got to go in 20, 30 minutes. All right. What is it, hump day? Yeah, we don't have any scheduled screen, uh, screams. Yeah, we don't have any scheduled screams for tonight. Uh, I will be planning something for, uh, Twitch or Discord. The kids' homes from school sick. Sick. Pfft. Public education is trash anyway, so what the fuck ever. I'm gonna have to get him into a, a, a different school next year. I'm gonna have to, my mom's already offered to pay for it, so. Uh, I gladly accept it because this shit's not cheap, man. And I, you know, and, uh, yeah. It's basically my inheritance being given to my child early <laughs> is what it would be. Part of it, not all of it. Jesus Christ, it's not that expensive. I can't afford it, though. And public school is just fucked right now. It is. It's fucked. Kids are angry. Kids are over-medicated. Kids haven't been socializing. It's fucked. There's kids that are, have problems that are disrupting the entire class for 10, 20 minutes at a time. It's just, it's not cool. I don't like it. I can't blame him for not wanting to be there. I didn't want to be there when I was a kid. I was like, I got the, f the school actually called my mom and said, hey, you might as well just come and sign the papers to uh, withdraw him. Because uh, he's never here. <laughs> I was never there. Fuck that place. Oh, honey, this is Indiana. <laughs> this is Indiana post or it's still in the middle of a pandemic it's bad it's real bad and in the 90s it was trash but see i live in a small town so our school was very they were very hyper focused on the athletes and the uh more privileged kids let's just say that because they really didn't like me. i told you guys a story about the counselor and the principal setting me up on that the illegal controlled drug buy with melatonin yeah that was fucked they did that because they didn't like me and somebody lied about me and they ran with it without calling the police police told them they were lucky somebody didn't come in there and shoot them what if it was a real drug deal and they tried to bust me and i had a gun they didn't think about that did they i, I feel you missy and just listen i gotta i gotta tell everybody right now that's frenchy she's you, you can't take what people like Yaba, Sam, and Frenchie say personally because it has no it's it's baseless. They're protecting their fragile egos and nothing more. They're projecting onto the world. That's why she calls me trash. I'm like, well, that's cool, you know. My kid hugs me many times a day. I cook for my kid all the time. I love my dog. I take care of my house. I make money, pay the bills, always food around. I love my children, I love my family. Yeah, I'm a piece of trash, I'm a piece of trash. I'm sorry I'm not sitting by myself in an apartment screaming at innocent people on the internet. I guess that would uh, validate me with the girl gang or whatever. Oh, was it bad, DC? 
Word. See, I don't know, man. I, I didn't thrive because uh, as soon as I got into high school, I had the one established dominance over my previous bullies from a junior high. That sucked. That was like a six-month affair. Because I had, to, I had to check them. I started making friends, and my friends were a little bit more violent than me. I mean, I don't want to say violent. They were more apt to resort to violence with somebody was being aggressive. Let me just say that. We slammed a lot of bullies into lockers for six months. And then the bullies just got older and bigger. Like the guys in high school, like seniors. I'm like, fuck me, dude. What the fuck? I wasn't getting bullied. I was straight up fist fighting people now. So come my, 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 my sophomore year, I got in trouble for buying a lithium pill from a kid in the lunchroom. Uh, this is how stupid and tarted I was to drugs. Nirvana. Let's just say Nirvana. He's like, I got two lithium pills. I was like, ooh. I gave him a buck for it. And I took it. And it didn't do nothing, obviously. Uh, I was an idiot for taking it because I didn't know what it was. However, <laughs> he sold one to somebody else and they fucking snitched on all of us. Oh! Like, cold snitched. Like, you know, in school, you can't deny. I didn't admit the shit. He snitched. That was it. That was the end of it. So that was the beginning of my bad reputation. I got expelled or suspended. I got suspended for two weeks. I think I got suspended for a week, actually. Came back to school. <laughs> I'm in school less than a month, and we were doing a, a project in biology class. We were making these uh, containers to drop an, an egg, a container to hold an egg and drop it from the ceiling and protect the egg. And me and this girl, I had a huge crush on her. Her name was Starla. Ugh. She was amazing. <laughs> anyway, she was on my team. And uh, this dude, I'm a freshman. I don't know how old he is, but he has a Grim Reaper tattoo from here to here. In 1991! What? <laughs> you know, that's insane. Most of the people I knew that had tattoos then were bikers or had been in prison. This is 91. Keep in mind. So, he fucks our project up. And I'm not a big guy. I think at 14, I was probably like 5'5", five, five maybe. 5'6", five, 5'5", six, five, 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 six, 110 pounds, soaking wet. I went up to him. He's like 6'1". He's, he's a string bean, too. We're all skinny. Nobody, everybody wasn't getting obese then. So I go up to him, and um, and I pushed him. And I said, you fucking grease ball. You, you broke our fucking project. And the teacher's standing over here. It's loud. So... And he pushes me back, and uh, so I swing on him. I hit him. He hits me, and uh, there's a guy in the class. He's he's big. He's like fucking big boy, but he's got like a, a he's got a strong hand. Bless his heart. He was a cool guy though. Uh, he grabs me. He's trying to break the fight up. The teacher's got the other guy. The guy with the strong hands got me, and he got me by the leg. I had this dude by the hair at this point. I'm, I'm going up like this. It's like slow motion. I, I need him in the face. And then my legs came out from underneath of me because strong hands got me up like this with one arm. And I got this dude by the hair and I'm just shaking his head. The teacher's trying to get the other guy, falls into the counter, suffers a back injury. He has to leave for a week to go to the chiropractor and get treatment. Uh, and it was the day before Christmas break. I got a three week Christmas break. That's a long story. I remember it. I had I had a uh, I had a <laughs> my dad laughed at me. I had a a bruise on my lip right here. It looked like a I don't know, a beauty mark <laughs> or a mole waiting for hair to come out of it. My dad was like, Is that all you got from that fight boy? <laughs> Must have been a pussy. I was like, no, actually, he wasn't a pussy. He was kind of scary. He had a Grim Reaper tattoo, Dad. Hey, did you whoop his ass? Like, well, kind of. He had the abrasion on his face from me kneeing him in the face with my jeans. He, my dad always picked on me. Even the fights I got into. <laughs> yeah, pussy. I'm like, God, would you, would you kill him? Would that bring you his scalp? Would that be, would that, would that get me the attaboy? Get the fuck out of here. Hey, I like my dad. I love my dad. He's just a character. He probably did more emotional damage than he did I inspiring me, but he's well, it's probably 50-50. He didn't mean to. He was just raised in a different era, and I was sensitive. 
I'm, I'm telling you, when you're four, I this was 30, almost 31 years ago. People didn't have Grim Reaper tattoos in high school. I knew a guy in, in junior high, his name was William. He had uh, Iron Maiden's Eddie from here to here. Blew my mind. We were in eighth grade in the locker room. And I look over and I'm like, yo! <laughs> like, who did that to you? He was older than us. I think he was almost 15. This was in the days where they would hold your ass back, okay? No kid left behind now. That's right, they leave them all behind. Jesus, Shannon. <laughs> uh, I got in two fights my freshman year. I started my freshman year. I was in, I, I, like the beginning of the year. It was like the first semester. I got in two fights, and I got and uh, I got in two fights. Yes, that was the beginning of my bad reputation. And then my sophomore year, I got in trouble for the lithium. And then uh, my junior year is when the school set me up on that that bogus controlled drug buy. It, I didn't get go to jail because it wasn't illegal. It was against school policy to sell somebody a melatonin fucking herb pill, which was perfectly legal at the time. Um, so, but uh, the first fight I got into in, in, in high school was a was with a Mormon, no less. Whooped his ass. Said my mom gave good head. I wasn't hearing it. He was sitting like, I, I was sitting here, and he was sat like over there. And uh, he was just a fucking asshole. Just an asshole. And he said, and we were arguing back and forth under our breath. We had a teacher uh, whose name was Mr. Kane. And, b and bless his wife's heart. She's passed away since. Her name was Candy. I'm not bullshitting you. Anyway, Mr. Kane was this guy, real tall, lanky guy with like a bean head and glasses. Couldn't see shit. He didn't care what we were doing. So he's like, your mom gives good head. And I was like, I'll see you at lunch. Because we had lunch in the middle of this class. Oh, I'm sorry. We had lunch after this class. So after that class, uh, I caught him in the courtyard. I caught him outside. How about that? And lit him up. Uh, fucked my finger up. Fractured my pinky. Punched him in the face. The uh, stem from his glasses broke and just kind of like cut his eye a little bit. It wasn't bleeding too bad, but he had a black eye. But he 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 got he got me one good time because uh, I got him in a headlock and he kind of he kind of like fell back with me and I had a big like abrasion right here from falling on the concrete and uh, we wrestled around for a few. And eventually, uh, what happened was the bell rang for us to go back to class. And I was on top of him. And I just got up and I was like, I win. And I went back to class. And then uh, in the middle of the class, my finger, I'm like, oh, my finger's like. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, and my arm is all like, it's got, <laughs> it's got like asphalt and probably like a pop tab in it. Piece of gum, a dead yellow jacket. It's all bloody. So I went to the bathroom and washed it off. Then went to the nurse's office and she put a split on my finger. She said, what happened? I was like, I was running through the courtyard and I fell. I wasn't snitching. <laughs> so I went home and told my mom about it. And I think my sister laughed at me. Yeah. Nobody ever told me. My, no, nobody ever said any shit like that to me again, though. Fuck that. <laughs> uh... Lest we forget the guy, the 18-year-old, who tried to fight a 14-year-old me over a 13-year-old girl. What? What? You know what I'm saying? It was dumb. This dude straight showed up. He, like, lived in her neighborhood. Because I used to go to her grandparents' house and have dinner and watch TV. Whatever. It was just, like, a little teenage romance, you know. Maybe sneak and hold hands. <laughs> that type of thing. And I'm, I'm walking out between classes and this straight fucking goddamn jolly green giant on crack walks up to me and says, Hey, are you with so and do? And I'm like, yeah, it's my girlfriend. And he, I have my books like this. He smashes my books down. It's raining us. He smashes my books down and shoves me hard. I can't fight this dude. He's huge. I don't even know who he is. He's not a student. Well, you better stay away from her. First time in my life, I was like, fuck it. You can have her. Got my books with the class. I, I, I wanted that dude to stay away. <laughs> I ended up going to her house that day, that night. She told me who he was. He lived behind her grandparents, and he had taken claim to her. This was an 18-year-old man. Had taken claim to this 13-year-old girl in his neighborhood as his woman, and it wasn't true. It was not true. Oh, 
Another story about this girl. Uh, we had uh, her, her cousin uh, was my friend. And she was like a bit of a tomboy, man. Like, I mean, like she, she'd trade punches with us dudes. She was intimidating and kind of hot because of the intimidating factor. Maybe I wanted to be dominated. That's gross. Anyway, um, I was uh, wrestling with my girlfriend at this time. I think at this time I was, uh, she had turned 14, I was 15. Um, and we were just kind of wrestling upstairs. There's all kinds of, there's like her little cousins are there, you know, her older cousins are there, aunt, uncle, the whole fuck, it's like, it's like uh, the opening of uh, Home Alone. So I'm wrestling with my girlfriend. The next thing I know, I'm in a fucking headlock. Not even a headlock, a chokehold. And I start blacking out. Her cousin thought I was hurting her and fucking tried to choke me out. <laughs> my girlfriend's like, oh my God. <laughs> and I'm like, mm. and when she let go of me, I was in tears. I was like, what did you get me? I went home. I didn't run home, but I went home. <laughs> She apologized to me. She apologized to me. Bless her heart. She was so strong. Dude, she choked me out. Quick. Like cut off. <laughs> like, like that. Yeah, buddy. Uh, we broke up shortly after that. I was like, man, fuck this. This is dumb. I'm not getting choked out anymore. I've had the I've been I've been attacked by a fucking a grown man. <laughs> and now I'm getting choked out by crazy bitches. <laughs> I'm dipping. And my parents were going through a divorce at the time too, I think. Or going through some shit. No, they weren't going through a divorce yet. They started going through that the year after. My bad. Never mind. Got my timeline mixed up. Doesn't matter. The legendary divorce was, was such a bore anyway. Good stuff, baby. My dad had friends with wild nicknames. Bone, Chainsaw, Buck, Whitey. His last name was White, I think. And they just called him Whitey. So. He happened to be white, too, so it worked out. Good for him. For it working out, not for being white. Jesus. Can't help that. <laughs> <laughs> Mick, stop it. I'm proud of our Irish heritage too, but we gotta calm down. Caught Mick making pipe bombs last night. He was on that Mick of shit. <laughs> <sighs> I do have a story for everything. I appreciate it when Tragic thought it was a dunk to say that I'm a storyteller. Well, I'm an entertainer. I'm not a mouth-breathing predator. Sorry. Yeah, buddy. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. I know I got to run to the bank soon, and... I'm going to figure out something to whip up in the Instapot today. I'm not. I'm going to do my dishes. That's all I'm doing today. Dishes, laundry, finish up the laundry. It's four loads. I lost interest after load number two. That's what she said. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know what else. I got stories about up here. I had tons of stories about being up here. I mean, my grandma lived here. She moved here in 1990. So, you know, it's uh, 32 years of memories. I had a karaoke machine. I used to sit right over here. It's basically, this is like, I would come here and disappear up here because I could have privacy. If nobody was living up here, I could just come up here and have my karaoke machine. Uh, one time I got a shoebox full of weed. I had it up here and we were smoking it, blowing it out this window, stuff like that. Storytelling is is the fruit of life, man. How do you think we have any kind of culture or legacies? Yeah, shoebox full of weed. It was bad weed. It wasn't that great. 
It was like uh, really more leaves than buds. We didn't know what we were doing. We just mashed it all up, smoked it. We got we got we got a little baked. We didn't smoke a lot. I mean, we only paid five bucks for it, so you can, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying, it's like whatever. Uh, I think it was 13, 14, no, 14. This was after I got high with these two guys. Uh, we all uh, we each had three dollars. We had five dollars. We went bought a pack of smokes a piece, and then bought a joint a piece. And this was the first time I realized how absurd it was for three people to pass three joints. Because they were all the same size. Because the dude rolled them in a machine and he weighed them out. I was like, why are we passing these? It's like, why don't we just smoke them ourselves? No, it's not how we do it. I'm like, fuck it. All right. It's the first time I ever got baked. Oh, did I ever get baked? Went to the bowling alley. And uh, we went to go play Mortal Kombat. And other video games. Shoots a pool, whatever. Oh, it was also Cruise for Chicks. You know, Cruise for Chicks. At 14. Uh, and I see my stepsister. And uh, I run up behind her to scare her. Because that's what we do. If we had an opportunity to scare the fucking shit out of each other. We did it. No matter where it was. In public. In private. In the home. In the yard. In the car. In the garage. Whatever. Never in the bathroom. People get on fuck shit in the bathroom. Never do that to people. Anyway, I run up behind her. And I'm like, hey, who's with you? It's my mom. He's my mom. I'm baked out of my gourd. My mom don't come to Bowling Alley. What the fuck is she doing here? This is, you're in my territory. <laughs> I panic. And I'm like, hey. And I run over to the Mortal Kombat machine and just stand there like a buffoon, like I'm playing. I'd never been high before. I didn't know how to react to that. I felt so paranoid and so out of place and so, so attacked that my mother was in my safe place. <laughs> It's like she turned around, I was like, no! Pissed on the bowling alley, on then, governor. Why would I do that? That's not appropriate and not on here. You, you get paranoid. I did for years. I used to get paranoid. Fuck. I don't even know why I smoked. There was time I used to quit, but I I just hung out with a bunch of bad people who were just I came to peer pressure quite often. You know, quite often. Yeah, right, Jana? They know. They're not dumb. They know. Oh, I came home drunk when I was 15. Or was I 15? Yeah, I was 15. I had this fucking uh, sweater vest on. I looked fly. I had my mullet. Had a you know, mock turtleneck on. Had my little sweater vest on. What's your babies doing? She's going to go poop on my floor a bit. Um, and I went to a party, and I threw in five bucks on a half gallon of vodka. So we got at the table, and I had never really... I had drank, but I would never really been drunk, so... To impress some girls, um, <laughs> I drank like an idiot, got drunk really super quick, uh, threw up in a box that just happened to have a couple of kittens in it, didn't know that, uh, no bullshit, and this got me banned from the party immediately. I wasn't due home for four hours. I got that drunk that quick. They brought me here. I was like, as I, I was the head right, right there. They had a bag. I had a bag. I was in a probe, a, a probe GT. Something like a Ford probe. Is that what it, what it is? This dude drove a probe. Uh, and I was in the front seat with a fucking bat. <clears throat> yeah, I did. I, I did. I don't know if I barfed on the cats. I just know I barfed in the box. So I came out to the garage. And I, and I remember that that's when the room started spinning. And I don't remember much else until I got here. They could find me in the bedroom downstairs where, where, where Slade's bedroom is now. And I was like just yelling the most obnoxious jokes I could. And I woke up the next day with the worst headache. My mom called me and she's like, how you feeling? I was like, this is like shit. She's like, you're grounded. And hung up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, I was being so, I kept yelling goose poopy. The fuck is that? And my friend RJ was with, with me. Bless his heart. He didn't drink. He was humiliated. He thought I was funny for about 20 minutes. And then he was like, I'm going to go upstairs and sleep <laughs> up here. <laughs> I was laying face down. Yes, Pepe! Yes, Pepe! All right. 
it in. <sighs> All right, that's a good point to wrap it up, guys. I got some errands to run. Uh, I appreciate you all for tuning in for my shit show every day. I do appreciate the opportunity to entertain you all. Thank you for the privilege. Uh, we'll see you later in the Discord for sure. Much love for me to you. Be good or be good at it. Bye.